You see why I don't want to. Sorry, sorry. Before the show, I found out I'm gay. <laughs> right before the show started, I found out I'm gay. Why? Oh, fuck, I can't. Why am I all in a weird spot? I moved the camera. Now it's all. I moved the camera because we were going to have something on the wall this morning. I had a big thing to go on the wall this morning. And then, uh,. My printer ran out of on Saturday, and I ordered more. Let's just say this, Stuttering John, you're lucky, because the mural was coming along. I had, what? What? what is all this? What could all this even be? I don't know, but it'll be there. It'll be coming. And then the doctor took so long telling me I was gay. He goes, I, I have even worse news. Now you're late and gay. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. This is how they do it. You're late and gay. You're late. You're gay. You're gay. You're late. You're out of toner cartridge. You're gay. You know, the printers, they always say they're low on toner. My printer's been saying it's low on toner for a month. I just ignore it. And then you go try to print out a wall. I had my camera moved over to have the wall in the shot a little more. I go to print out the wall. Somebody says, are you sure you moved your camera and it's not a system update? <laughs> that's, that's a good one. That is a good one. If you know, you know. Look, I don't want to be here today. I'm going to be honest. I, um... I had to get up and take care of some other business this morning for another uh, issue. Issue. Do adult men have issues? I have issues. Anyway, I had to wake up. If I did not have to get up for that other thing, and I almost forgot for a minute, you know? Yeah, grift, grift, grift. Guys, we aren't going to be able to do the show today unless we get enough money for toner. You know, brother brother toner cartridges, each one of these. I got a, I got a magenta, I got a cyan, I, I, I got a yellow, I gotta do the black. We're not gonna be able to go unless you sponsor a toner cartridge today, everybody. This is called a Grint. We need everybody to step up and sponsor a $60 toner cartridge today or we may never be able to print again on this show. I wish I could tell you this show could go on without your support, but we're just not able to print. We're not able to print. That's why we call this show The Grint for the Print, everybody. Hit print on your... Everybody hit the print button in solidarity. I'd like to send each one of you a page 
And if you could print that and then mail it in to me, I'll never have to buy toner again. Why don't they have this as a business, you know? Printers for people at home. Printers for people at home. You don't have to buy a printer. I'll print it for you and mail it to you. Would that be good? Let's say you don't need it today. You just want a hard copy. It's not a rush. Email it to me. I print it and I send it to you for only five cents a page. Plus the cost of postage, plus shipping and handling, plus your monthly subscription fee to MeltonScansIt.com. And then here's, you know, Corn Diff's donating for magenta. You think Corn Diff would donate for yellow. I had to print out corn recently and it was all my yellow probably used all my yellow and he wants to he's trying to do the magenta for me seems weird also wes thank you for being a member for uh 35 months jesus christ bunch of losers sweaty try hard towards our grint <laughs> guys we need to fix my grinter i'm the grinter fix my printer okay we have enough for almost a twelfth of a magenta cartridge here and sweaty try hard we're gonna put towards black so you know really it's gonna take uh, a lot we're all gonna have to pull together for the uh, printing scheme to work I don't want to I don't want to be here I, I, I gotta be honest everything today has fallen apart my morning, I woke up an hour and a half, two hours ago. Every fucking thing in my life has gone wrong today. Everything. Everything. I'm not even going to get into it. It's just everything's falling apart and I can't make it better. Today was going to be my big uh, show. Hit the like button. I, I might be here 20 minutes. Just a warning. I'm going to do the old uh, Kevin Brennan thing. I don't need this. I don't need this. I already made my nut. I did a big show this weekend. <laughs> a lot of people gave money. I already made my nut. I don't have to be here. I might leave my own show. This might not be a long show. You know, every fucking little thing he says now at the beginning of every show but i mean it but i actually mean it you know <laughs> mulligan monday yeah that's what it feels like and then i said to myself you know you got up you have to go to work you have to do it and and a lot of you have way worse jobs than me a lot of you are poor you know a lot of you work stupid jobs where you have to do manual labor and you don't get a choice whether not to wake up in the morning, not to go to work, not to feel good. So why do I? Why do I? Melton, if I have to go sit on the backhoe and, and run it when I'm sick and tired, then you have to go sit in your chair and run your show when you're sick and tired. Melton, if I have to go open up the Claire's Boutique at the West Side Mall, you have to go sit in your chair and do the show. Melton, if I have to go in to Carl's Jr., for the morning shift and ha hand batter the chicken for the honey chicken biscuits. <laughs> then you have to wake up and you have to go and um, sit and talk to idiots. You don't have a hard job. You just have to sit and talk to idiots. Oh, God. We do have a lot to look forward to this week. I will say that. I will say that. First of all, I... I want to give uh, Stuttering John a week, a week to apologize to me. Get Clippers, get ready. Stuttering John, last week, I guess, issued an ultimatum on who are these podcasts to me to stop talking about Kate Meany and her mother, Marianne Halford. Now, fuck you, no. <laughs> we, we don't really talk about Kate Meany a lot, and we haven't in weeks. But Stuttering John, who I don't pay attention to, don't know, and don't care about at all, decided out of nowhere to go, and another thing, Melton, you better stop talking about Kate Meany. Again, you know, just what a fucking out-of-it idiot. We don't, nobody's talking about Kate Meany over here in, in a week, 
two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Long time. So now that puts Kate Meany back on our radar. So we, we of course, again, we all know Kate Meany's itching to stick her head back out. We all know her mom has her thumb on her saying like, why don't you lay low? You're embarrassing the family. You're embarrassing the family business. You're embarrassing Dove Davidoff. So her mom made her lock down, you know, both her account and her mom's account. She's not really allowed to be on the internet right now. Kate's not allowed to come out and play on the internet right now. Again, she's such a dumb, senseless whore that, you know, if she was in control of it, she'd be on the internet screaming at everybody. But no, 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 no. Right now she's on a time out, apparently. Uh, Peter uh, Sky Parker, I think this came in. While I was doing Pat Dixon show on Saturday night, Peter Sky Parker says, don't tell Pat Dixon, but this show totally sucks. And just in case you read this out loud, just kidding, Pat, this is my favorite rumble show. I think for some reason, Peter Sky Parker thought I was looking at my control panel while I was doing Pat's show. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't. I just saw this this morning. Uh, so if this came in during Pat show, I had no way to put that up. On Pat's screen. These are all independent systems. I can't put my comments up on Pat's screen and he can't put his comments up on my screen. That would can you imagine the security <laughs> behind that? How that would work? Melton, if I have to clean up piss, shit, and movies, macaroni, bedtime snacks, you two need to be here. That is true. I thought, you know, if Steel Toe can do it, I can do it. If April can get out of bed on a Monday, I can get out of bed on a Monday. Drive-by says for the NLO toner fund, here's $10. Appreciate that. Flat Cat Jessica says you never want to be with us, but we always want to be with you. Yeah. Even Flat Cat's been unbanned. You know, everybody's kind of unbanned. Everybody's kind of in the, uh, in the circle again over here. We're in a good, we're in a good way. Sweaty Tryhard, thank you for giving $5 towards the Grant, the car, the toner Grant. I ordered it. It's, it, it should be here today. But one week, one week, stuttering, uh, what's his name? Stuttering John. <laughs> stuttering John, you have one week to apologize to me for demanding that I uh, leave Kate Meany alone. You have one week to apologize to me. If you do not apologize to me by April 1st on this internet, we on the same internet we're on now, this current internet, I swear to God, I, I'll never stop. I'll never stop with your kids. You know, I don't care if she wants a penis or not. I'll follow her around the grocery store trying to glue one on her. <laughs> you know, I swear to God, I'll make it my life's goal to glue penises onto your daughter whenever I see her in public. I'll keep them in a bag. Some sort of purse. Some sort of little Johnny Appleseed bindle over my shoulder. Little penises i don't know where i'll get them and i don't know what they'll be made of silicone plastic tin foil i haven't checked the party city near my house to see what they have on sale from leftover bachelorette parties but i'm gonna go get a whole bag of little penises and i'm gonna tell every one of my fans we follow your stupid daughter around trying to glue little penises on her It'll never stop. It'll never stop. Pay less shoe source, the movies, the doctor's office, traffic stops. People are just going to be gluing little dicks onto your daughter. You know, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Your daughter shows up for Thanksgiving. She's got sores all over her body. And you're like, what the fuck? Do you have leprosy? And she's like, no, these are burns for me pulling off little dicks. People stuck on me everywhere I go with super glue. They're mean. <laughs> Imagine, imagine she's just covered with parts of her body where skin has been ripped off because you guys keep using JB Weld to stick little penises all over her body. You wanted this. You wanted this. You wanted a dick. Now you got tons of little dicks. <laughs> I changed my mind. Maybe I do want to show. Hit the like button. Oh, God. Anyway, look, I was trying to print out a picture of Stuttering John's children. 
the trans one, the only one that really matters in the eyes of the Lord, when you think about it. And again, my toner just ran out of paper, but this will be coming. This will be coming. These are all parts of your daughter, John. These are all parts of your daughter. I put I printed the numbers right on the squares this time. So we'll be. Uh, you have one week to apologize to me. You have one week to say, Melton, I'm sorry. I should have never demanded uh, you leave Kate Meany alone. And if you can't say that, game on. Monday, April 1st. Next Monday, your daughter. Your daughter is officially my new project. Your son. You're your, the one with the penis. Your daughter with the penis. We're talking about the penis daughter, John. Hello? Hello? Chip Galloway says, do you still have any of the savvy papers? If yes, they're for sale. You're not going to believe this. I threw them away yesterday. I had a stack of all the stuff that's been on that wall for the past year. I threw it out yesterday. I, I was up here getting ready for this wall and stuff uh, Saturday. And then yesterday, I, I couldn't put the wall up Saturday because I knew I was going on Dixon's show and doing my show, so I didn't want it up Saturday. So as soon as uh, I finished my show, I tried to print it out, and that's when I noticed the printer was fucked. So one more week, John. You're lucky. One more week, and we all start blow darting little penises at your at your little girl wherever she goes, wherever he goes, wherever your daughter goes. We're gonna get him. <laughs> I got this email from a guy named William, and you know this might be good information for people who don't know what WATP is like me. You know, I don't watch who are these podcasts, but I do watch the clips. Can I tell you, I was, I was Mersh had me cracking up this weekend. I'm not going to lie. I'm not insecure. I, I was watching a clip from WATP. I let, I was Mersh made me laugh. <laughs> he really did. I can't lie. I'm not going to lie. You know, I guess they just did that live event down in Clearwater, or sorry, Largo. And I found myself doing a chuckle, chuckle, tee hee at Mersh. You know, every a lot of people think I'm I'm one of the internet's biggest locales, but every once in a while I land one. <laughs> Crumbum says lies. No, I would lie. I, I would tell you. I would tell you if I was faking. Uh, look, people come to me for honest information. The problem is when they can't handle it. The problem is when they can't handle it. I, I, I watched it. I chuckled. I chuckled. Look, does this mean Mersh is a cool guy? No. Does it mean I want to hang out? No. Does it mean I want to do an event with Mersh? No. Does it mean I would ever team up with Mersh. <laughs> Painkiller says a real man can look past popular hate trends. I, I'm just telling you what it is. There was a, I'm not saying I was cackling. I'm not saying I was on the floor laughing, doing a Homer Simpson full circular. Whoop, 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 whoop. But you know, I'm telling you like it was, I chuckled. I chuckled at it. Again, I would never, ever be seen, you know, on the same lineup as the guy. I think just all in all, complete lack of self-awareness. But what do I know? Anyway, this guy, William, sent me this sheet, and he's he sent it. It's like a, it's like a primer for uh, Steel Toe, or sorry, for, uh, for WATP. So this helped me a little bit before I knew about WTP. Maybe this will help you. I don't know. This is what it says. I'm just reading what it says. This is his stuff, not mine. Carl, Lucy, and Andy, and this is Lucy Tightbox, and Trucker Andy, are usually only on Wednesdays. The Wednesday show is a competition. Each uh, of the above bring a show. They comp compete and people vote on their Patreon for the worst submission. So they bring in a bad podcast to make fun of on Wednesdays. Lucy Typebox and Andy Kindler. Um, Saturday show is just what Carl has always done. Pick a show, pick it apart, and then talk Stuttering John for two hours. 
Uh, producer Chris is just a hanger on <laughs> who is like Silent Mike but has good instincts. See, I don't know who Silent Mike is. So you going like, uh, oh, no, producer Chris, he's like Silent Mike. It's like, I don't know who Silent Mike is. Oh, uh, oh, Silent Mike is Mike, uh, what's his name? On the BS show, right? Morse, Mike Morse. Okay, so producer Chris is like Mike Morse, um, but he has good instincts. He's a hanger on. He slowly turned into a producer, drops jokes, show format, etc. Also, just so you know, Carl has actually been promoting Vegas alongside his Florida show. He does forget once in a while, but mostly pushing it just as hard. Also, most of the regulars on the show are people Carl is involved with in his stupid rock instrumental band. Chris, Lucy, Andy, and Croz, who stopped coming in two years ago. They have a guy named Croz? P.S. Last thing about Shuley, with the buying out of country memberships, could it have been a stunt to get rustic cuts and factor to pay for the studio? I don't know. That was so long ago, right? That was so long ago. I don't know, man. I don't know. A uh, little Emmy putting down for the cyan today. All right, so we got a little for the magenta from Corn Diff. We got a little for the cyan from Lemmy. I'm putting sweaty tryhards towards black. That means we really need somebody to step up for yellow today. Flimsy Greenberg, member for 11 months. Peter Sky Parker, super sticker. Peter Sky Parker, Flimsy Greenberg, member for 11 months. Uh, super sticker. And Dusty Settle. John wanted to be another knight. John wanted to be another knight in the family. Yikes. Hello. Hey, uh, Crozier is the guy's name. And I don't know if Lucy Tightbox is in the instrumental band. They're called the Ice Tubs, but it's the dude's name is Crozier. He stops being on the show. That's how you. Are you, calling, are you calling Bye. from inside of a grand piano? I'm in the gym. Patty Mel, place you should go to sometimes. Whoa, yeah. I don't have a gym. I don't have a gym membership. I'm afraid of the bagels. You know, every one of these gyms, you walk in the door now, they have carbs sitting out for you to enjoy. Pop, pop, pop. That's a wet-ass trans pussy. Come on, man. Carl loves you, Kevin. Wet-ass trans pussy. W-A-T-P. Wow, I never thought about that. W-A-T-P, wet ass, trans pussy. Take that, Carl. Hey, buddy. I would only support white toner cartridges. Game on Freddy Patty. I got five on the black cartridge so you can print big black cocks. <laughs> you know, if you want to print big black cocks, you actually need more magenta and, and cyan than you would think. You know, a lot of those are purple. Fatty Patty, take it easy on my trans kiki. I kid. won't. I won't. So, go. I knew she was special. When other kids were riding bikes, she would try to super glue the handlebars to her crotch. You know, look, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do. I'm not that guy. I don't want to do this. Do you think I want to show you pictures of Stuttering John's kids? You think that's what I want? You think I want you to see this? You think I want you to see this? I don't. I don't. I don't. I think top surgery is a nightmare. I would never want you to see that. So we won't be showing it on this program. We won't be doing it here. We're a little above. We're a cut above that. Daddy, it's me, the Dark Knight. I'm sorry I wasn't born a boy. I'm growing a peen out of arm skin. Do you love me now, Daddy? Can I get some attention in between Coors cans and Whippet canisters? Greta, I mean Batman. I have a son now, a biological one. Sadly, you have become an abomination in the eyes of our Lord and society at large. Until he comes out of the closet, which should be any day now, he is the number one son. So yeah, Send me some beer on Grubhub, and he'll consider it. As you can matter, as you can imagine, my printer put up quite a struggle trying to print that out. Trying to print that out. People don't know this. Stitches are hard to render um, in 2D on laser. It's tough. It's tough. 
anyway, I just I, I'm trying to let you know I I'm not I'm not after that. I'm not the one trying to make uh, bad memories for night. John did enough of that. If anything, I stand by this beautiful, beautiful boy. Um, she lived the uh, beginning parts of her life very unhappy. She hated being this ugly, ugly version of herself. It's disgusting. It's gross. And you can see she's not happy in her body. She's not made to be this way. She looks disgusting. She looks gross. She's unappetizing, probably sickly. And all this time, she's just wanted to become what she always wanted to be, a beautiful, beautiful boy. So we're happy. We're celebrating. It really, really couldn't have gone better for uh, Stuttering John. You could tell. You could tell that the daughter was gross and ugly and disgusting. <laughs> Please show that picture again. I'm going to come. Oh, will I come? I too will come. And by the way, they they said, uh, you know, he said he's coming to Hackamania. Stuttering John said he's coming to Hackamania. Okay. My reaction to that is, okay, I can't stop you. I know, I know. again, all these fucking nerds are used to, like, big reactions. Like, oh, you're coming to Hackamania? Good luck. I'd like to see you try. We're going to have security. No, 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 no. You're coming to Hackamania? Okay. I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. We'll see you there. We'll see you there, John. You need a booster seat. The bar is 21 and up, so they might need your ID. I'm just saying bring it. I'm not saying you look under 21. I'm just saying from a height perspective, you know, if they have a if they have one of those, you know, you know like cartoon characters at the door saying you must be this high to enter the bar, you might need an ID. That's all I'm saying. My daughter is a son. <laughs> she, he has a penis vagina. It even confuses me. She used to be so pretty. I woke up this morning with a bad hangover, and my penis was missing. Again? This happens all the time. It's detachable, detachable penis. This just comes in handy a lot of the time. I can leave it home when I think it's going to get me in trouble, or I can rent it out when I don't need it. But now and then, I go to a party, get drunk, and the next morning, oh, oh God, I can't, man. for the life of me, remember what I did with it. Hey, John, who has a bigger dick, you or your daughter? <laughs> when we get done with her, when we get done paying for your daughter's penis, John, over here at the Nobody Likes Onions program, when we get done paying for that daughter's dick, we don't buy no little daughter's dick. We don't buy no, somebody, I got an email from some hater. Again, I can't imagine you writing me a paragraph email telling me how, how much I'm dumb and you hate me and I'm fat. <laughs> Just like while you're sitting there typing that out to yourself, you know, do you ever look around your own light? I mean, but, you know, so whatever. I, I read them. I read them. I jerk to most of them. This guy called me an edgelord. <laughs> he said, like, you think you're so edgy? Just bashing Kevin Brennan's wife for being black? It's like, A, I don't think Kevin Winnen, Kevin Winnen, Kevin Brennan's wife is even black. And second of all, no, it's a, it's Jesus Christ. It's satire. Like it really, it's showing you that we're post making fun of black people or kids or ma. It's like, no, no, no. You don't understand. Kevin Brennan and, and stuttering John are old boomers who think you're not allowed to have a picture of their children. That's why it's funny. It's why it's funny. It's why we all struggle with the disconnect when Stevie Lou's like, because Stevie Lou's in his 40s and melting down over like a picture of his wife floating around, calling it toxic, losing his mind. Ski mask was going after my wife. Everyone's going after my wife. It's like they posted a picture of your wife. Is that going after her? 
Again, I don't know what Ski Mask did. Maybe he did something worse. This is I know Stevie Lou watches. I, I if someone's doing something to your wife, so be it. You know, I, I'm not saying that's not happening. I'm not trying to diminish it. But this thing where like people post a picture of your family and you lose your mind screaming they're going after my family or they're doxing my family. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. This is on your your social media. It's on their social media. It's perfect. Look, I get it. They're taking it and po- posting it somewhere else. This is not doxing. Everyone breathe. Everyone breathe. Everyone's fine. Stevie, your wife is fine. Uh, I'd be willing to bet dollars to donut holes the minute they posted that picture of your wife in all the discords, nothing happened to her. Several strangers called her ugly, right? Did she live? Did she make it? Is she okay? Everyone's got to stop with this going after my wife horse shit. Stop it. Stop it. And again, you can all play dumb. I I, I really do. I got I got an email from Luca the Bind. You know, Stevie's offended that I think he does gay ops. Ian Hawks clutching his pearls going, well, whatever do you mean? I know, I know. You guys all play by the rules. And you're all just as shocked as I am when something like this happens. Again, well, say whatever you want about Ian Hawk. When, Ian, when shit blew up with Ian Hawk, Ian Hawk said, so be it. It's almost like Ian Hawk was like, no, no, I want to go do interviews about this. <laughs> I want my, my entire marriage out for people to scrutinize. Ian Hawk never complained. Boy, Steel Toe complains, you've gone too far. Remember this? The, the guys who told you that you should be able to joke about anything? Kevin Brennan says it. Oh, these guys have gone too far, even though he does all the same shit. And again, Stevie Lou, say whatever you want. Luke of the Bind, say whatever you want. You guys all try to convince me that the other person's the devil and goes way over the line. And yet, whenever you're asked for proof, none of you can prove the other guy did jack shit. Stevie, if they dox your wife, that's fucked up. Let's do something about it. And then you send me a picture of someone posting a picture of your wife in another Discord. That's not doxing and or in my purview. Someone posted a picture of your wife in another Discord that has nothing to do with me, and I'm supposed to jump to do what? To do what? Draw a mustache on the picture and repost it? What am I supposed to do? Again, post pictures of everybody's wives. Do I think it's uncouth and dumb? Yes. Can I stop you? No, no, no. (sighs) Am I going to spend one minute complaining about you posting a picture of my wife? No, no. Post away. Oh, no. They're going after my wife. (laughs) Are they? Are they? Now, look, if they're calling your wife's job, they're trying to get your wife kicked out of her place of, of, of uh, living, you know, or dom- a domestic situation, you know? Okay, okay. If they're posting a picture of your wife, they're posting a picture of your kid. This is why we make fun of Stuttering John and Kevin. They're boomers who don't understand the internet is. The internet is. You think I'm the first one to post a picture of your wife, Kevin? First of all, I've never posted a picture of Kevin's wife. Not once ever. Never would. This is the difference. If I'm an edgelord, you know, I'd I'd really be going after Kevin's wife. I'm making fun of the fact that he thinks we're going after her. Catch up. We're a next level satire show over here. We're making fun of the fact that he thinks anybody wants to go after his wife. That's the joke. That's the joke. We're not actually going after his wife because get this. His wife ain't a black African with a bone in her nose. This is a joke. That's a joke. (laughs) I think she's a Dominican who likes hot dogs. How else could you explain it? The point is, we don't actually give a fuck about his wife. That's the joke. To watch an old man just keep losing it. They're after my wife. So yeah, when Stevie Lou starts doing it 20 years earlier, we're all going like, Jesus Christ, look at these guys lose it over nothing. They posted a photo of your wife. And, and what happened? And then what happened? 
Nine losers made fun of your wife? Then what happened? Everyone moved on? No, they didn't because you made a big stink out of it. They didn't because you went around telling everywhere. They're going after my wife. They're putting up my wife. They're making more wives. They're doing more of my wife. Well, now, now they are. Now they are. I'd be surprised if somebody's not having a puppet made of your wife. You know why? You let everyone know you don't like them talking. It's like it's just like Steel Tug on like the drug jokes stop now. They don't. They don't. They just started. We're building a new factory to make drug jokes about April now. Are you new to the net? Again, it's stuttering John and Kevin Brennan. Yeah, it's why it's funny. They don't know how the internet works. Oh my God. He's screaming about his wife. <laughs> it's why it's funny. So when Stevie Lou does it, it's it, we're all going like, what the fuck? When, when, when uh, Mooby at age 38 puts his finger down on the desk and tells the internet to stop making fun of April, we're all dying. We're all dying because there's no way to do that. There's no way to make the internet stop. Unless you're Cox. They make the internet stop all the time. But, you know, that's why it's funny. It's funny to watch Stuttering John and Kevin Brennan tell the internet over and over and over again how to be. Guys, you're doing it wrong. Stop. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop. You know, it's why Kevin Brennan's having a breakdown lately, blocking everybody on the internet. It's not fun for him anymore. Hold on. People are allowed to like you and hate you on the internet? I don't care for that. I didn't know about this. You know about this? You know about this? They're not. They're allowed to not like you on the net? Huh. Huh. First time I ever thought about that. First time I ever thought about that. I told that form wrong disaster. She is the problem in the Melendez family. Get fucked, you filthy shim. Ugh. I hate women. And if you want me to love you and give you benefits, grow a dick, you incorrect science project. Jesus Christ. Imagine him talking to his own daughter that way. Mason in, in Portland, VIP ticket holder here. Uh, it'll be my mission to ensure Pat and Joey C. leave Hackamania best friends. Yeah, I, I do think Joey C. and his wife are going to come out and have a good time walking around. You know Joey likes to walk around in his little velour jumpsuit acting like a celebrity. It'll be fun. I, I hope Joey and his, his dumb whore wife come out. You see, Melton? Those are the kinds of things that are going to make us not come out. I'm kidding, Joey. And I'll let Christina, I'll let uh, Christina see smack me in my face. We'll do it like a dunk booth. <laughs> no, I really do hope they come. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll help Joey see, uh, you know, calm down about all the name calling. He's like, no one really cares, you old fucking loser. Get your ass to Vegas. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Speaking of that, today's executive producer, Mason in Portland. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you very much, Mason in Portland. We'll see you here. I know you're a strong proponent of Joey C and his entourage. We'll see you out here along with uh, hopefully the rest of these high, highfalutin, high-rolling motherfuckers on the list here for March. We hope we uh, see all of you out here. Um, soon enough, wet ass trans pussy. I'm never going to get that out of my head for WATP. I had a great time smoking Swisher Sweets at the WATP event. Luckily, I brought a 20 pack, <laughs> so I had enough to share with everyone at the event. I'm sure you'll make a big ROI after paying for Carl's entourage. You'll need to open another account to hold all that cash. Be sure and make an appointment. Yeah, I'm going to need another appointment at the bank. We're going to have to make a whole Hackamania account. A whole Hackamania account. Uh, someone is butthurt. I'm doing well. Sorry I made more this last two weeks than you. You'll make the next four months. I'm uh, happy and staple. Is that true? God bless. I do. I'm happy and staple. Uh, someone is butthurt. I'm doing well. Sorry I made more than you this last two weeks than you'll make in the next four months. I'm happy and stable. God bless. This is, we should point out, you know, it's Monday. Chad just got done with two weekends of work with uh, Nick Swardson. 
And, as you know, everybody who knows Chad knows he never works. He doesn't really have anything on his calendar. Every once in a while, he has four guys who throw him work. Nick Swartzen, Godfrey, Florentine, and uh, TJ Miller slash Alex Stein. Uh, They're the same guy. Um, So Chad's headed into a period of of, uh, stagnation. And he's coming off, again, another high. As sold out shows, Nick Swartzen. Somehow Chad transfers all that over to himself. So he's going to be very, very puffed up today. I, I imagine uh, Chad will be spending much of the middle of today driving back from South Florida to Tampa. He'll be uh, keying into his sad little apartment turning on the light, shutting the thin, flimsy little door, turning on his computer, firing up the bathroom fan, seeing if there's any salmon left to throw in the oven, you know, fluorescent lights, you know, the kind with bugs inside the light. As soon as you turn it on, you can see the dead roaches and ants in the light, but he never bothers to clean them out because, you know, Florida and Chad... So I don't get why there's so much fighting in Israel. When my neighbor, Jose, has better Wi-Fi from me, I just nicely ask him if I can borrow the password to it so I can download Barely Legal Girls on Trampolese Parts 1, 2, and 7 until I max out his monthly usage. I tell him, hey, I'll cover the next, next month's bill. Back when YouTube pays me. Oh, as wow. As long as Susanna Dunza hit me up first. What were we talking about? Wow. Oh, yeah. So I think Israeli chicks are super hot. Arab broads can be pretty hot if they just take those things off their head or whatever. I do really like a g- g- good shawarma, too. Do Jewish chicks like it in the butt? Uh, this coming in, this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, DK through the super tip system saying, I'll give you $200 tomorrow on Venmo to have John's pictures on the wall for the opening. Now, look, I said April 1st. I said April 1st. The only thing that's going to make John more mad than us having lulls at the expense of his mentally ill child is me making money <laughs> off laughing at his mentally ill child. So you know what, DK, if I can get the, uh, hopefully the toner, let me check my um, Amazon real quick. I actually have a uh, thing from Amazon, a notification, if you will, from Amazon. Let me see. Oh, God. Okay, I might have to cancel it. It says arriving Wednesday, the toner. My toner's arriving Wednesday. So what you're telling me, if I if I have this straight, now look, I, I'm not going out and buying the uh, brand name toner. It's $240. You know, I'm not going to go have nine nine backups of toner drying out in my closet i go to put in a magenta two years from now it's not going to work because it's all flakes but yeah maybe i return the one i'm getting wednesday yeah and i'll go crumb says go to staples i could never but maybe i'll go to target i'd rather go to walmart than staples can we talk about this walmart's really turning their stuff around hit the like button Walmart's really turning their stuff around. Can can we talk about Walmart for a minute? They've really gotten their stuff together. It's like they changed all the light bulbs. The aisles are wider. The online shopping experience. Can I tell you the on the 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 shopping online and the and the uh, curbside pickup at Walmart is mwah, mwah. they bring it out to you. Some poor kid on a cart. You just pop open the back door, your Lexus. They put it all in for you. No questions asked. Walmart's really stuff. I would never go to a Staples or an Office Max. 
They're like what Kmart used to be. They're all dirty and dingy. For some reason, you'll never get it. Why Why one aisle has, has fax machines and one aisle has toner cartridges and one aisle has giant tubs of cheesy poofs. Is this what you guys think an office is? No, is this what you... No, I... If it's what you think an office is, I'm fine with it. I'm just trying to understand. Printer cables, hydraulic chairs, and airheads in a bin. This is what you think an office is. Just saltwater taffy and legal binders. What is that aisle with the food? You know, what is that? Why do they have that? Why do they have an aisle full of, like, the weirdest... It's almost like it's like half an aisle out of Costco. It's like, is there a reason you guys have five pound tubs of Twizzlers here at Staples? Who needs these stacks and stacks of weird snack foods? I've never even seen these, some of these snack foods in an office. You know what I mean? Nobody's eating starlight mints while they, while they make copies. It's very odd. <laughs> so I, I don't like Staples and Office Depot. And, stuff. And, then, and then they have the desk up front where they're doing, you know, they've all become all of a sudden some sort of like more expensive version of FedEx Kinko's too. They've got like a print shop up there. They want you to get your your real estate signs and your and your yard signs for the class election. And they want you, they want to do your brochures and your menus and your invitations and your table stanchions for your restaurant they want to be a printer what is this store it's like when you go into best buy it's like you guys have vacuum cleaners and pc parts in a home theater area but you also sell dvd i, I don't know what this is so it's a weird uh bring back comp usa i used to work at comp usa I used to work at Computer City, and then they got bought by CompUSA, and then I worked at CompUSA, and I quit a week before my store closed. I looked like a genius. I quit on a, on a Friday, and I went back to the store a week later on a Friday to pick up my check, my last check, and the store wasn't open, and the security guard outside was, like, turning people away, and I walked up there, and he let me in, and... It, you know, they were letting employees in, and I wasn't an employee, but he knew me, and he knew I had to get my check. The store had closed. They had received word the store was closing. Lakeland, Florida, Comp USA, where Mersh lives, where Mersh lives. Red shirts, name tags. My operations manager's name was Reggie Real, son of a bitch. Patrick, if you want to make things right with Mrs. Spear Chucker, please join us at the Pig Roast. Where she takes our tax deductible rodent children and stuff their why not their low budget fuck holes uh, with apples and make them realize Jesus. how lucky they are not to be a born wrong Melendez. All right, DK, I got to I got to figure out where I'm going to go get uh, toner to make DK make it rain tomorrow morning. Jesus Christ, as if he's not already making it rain here today. <laughs> 20 gifted memberships. Now DK hates Stuttering John? Is DK like a, an against a Stuttering John type of a guy? Pork chops talk. Husk up. I would start a podcast just about pork chops. Have Joe or Shuley reached out about super tips? No. No. I doubt they care. Uh, serial killer, is it possible for Stevie to take any more L's? First, a broken arm now run over by the quad father. Did Carl buy his plane tickets? Uh, I haven't heard from Carl at all. I'm guessing no. I'm guessing no. But, you know, we're coming up on 60 days out. You... <laughs> Let your plane tickets cost $9,000, Carl. Let them cost nine grand. you will owe me. We're coming for you. We're coming for that whole podcast. What is it called? Wet, wet are these pussies? What was it? Who are these? Who are wet ass? Fuck. Fuck. Hold on. What's going on? A broken arm now run over by. Do we even know? Do we even know? I, I, 
Here's the problem. This is the second time in like four months. I don't know what's going on with Stevie Lou. And at some point, I'm just going to stop caring. I, I don't know why I want to like this guy. I really feel like like he, there's a good person there at the core, and he's just misunderstood. I do think he's like aloof and says a lot and does a lot of dumb shit that makes shit worse. But maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he knows what he wants, and he's doing what he wants, and we're all idiots. And But I, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm almost to the point where I was just like, I don't want this guy anywhere near me or to talk to him ever again. What's going on with you, man? You li- you literally like just like telling all your friends to fuck off and Again, I'm not saying Lemmy and Quadfather are your best friends, but like you're being like a dick to everybody who's like got your back. So for what? Kevin Brennan? Again, we'll all be there in a month. I mean, you, these people must not have eyes and ears. No, Kevin Brennan's your real friend. He's got your back. He'll probably pay you forever. You're secure now. Because Kevin Brennan is a reliable, stable guy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <sighs> Again, like, I, I I don't know what to tell all these guys. I, I, yeah, I guess. It's not even like Kevin Brennan's going like, denounce Lemmy. No, no, no. But just out of nowhere, he's going like, I don't know Lemmy. It's just some dumb bitch who's in the. It's like, I, I don't know Lemmy. I don't know Lemmy. Me, Patrick Melton. I would, and I wouldn't go like, ah, just some dumb fucking bitch. Don't really know. What's going on? Is everyone okay? He's ski mask with more words per minute. Ski mask messed with Stevie so naturally uh, he has to go after me in quad. Ski mask messed with Stevie so naturally he has to go. I mean, look, again, who's ski mask? You know, nice guy in person, had a nice time with Ski Mask. Seems like he's off the fucking deep end. So imagine me giving a fuck. Hello? All right. First of all, yes, it's Stevie Views on the phone. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. And I'm going to clear this up again for the 15th time. I have the episode now. I found the clip. Ski Mask was on air saying, my wife is a blank blank, and I'm going to find out where she works on air. She said, he said that the next day I went to the BYB group and said, Hey, he mask is talking about going after my wife's job and my wife right now. I can't have that. And they turned on me there and said, it's your fault. Stevie deal with it. That's my problem with little Lemmy quad father and them. That's it. Yeah. But Stevie, nothing more, nothing Stevie. less. I got to leave it at that buddy. Okay. But listen, you were part of that fucking with other people with ski masks like that for, you told no, me. I was not. No, you I told was not me. part of that. No, no, no. You no, told you me one time. That. I was just part of it. Okay. You told me he one time. Called, okay. Ski Mask called the Bahamas. That was before I was on the Ski Mask Collective. That was not when I was Stevie, officially on that Stevie, you threatened me show. one time. You told me, keep what did I keep it up. With? Keep it up and see what Ski Mask does. Oh, you know. I said, keep it up. That's like, keep it up and see what happens. That was going to say we were going to just make fun of you. I didn't ever threaten you once with physical violence, buddy. So if you're trying to now be one of those people that's just going to lie and say Stevie always threatens people physically, I have never once made a physical threat towards you, and I've never done anything to anybody. So this is another one of these things where I'm motherfucking Stevie views, and motherfuckers can't stop talking about this motherfucker. So get some, bitches. Okay, well, you just made up a lie and put it in my mouth and then yelled at me for being a liar, even though you made it up. Well, now he hung up. Yeah, it's easy to win when you put words in my mouth and then denounce them. I said, you threatened me. You told me one time, yeah, keep talking about ski mask and see what happens, fat boy. You said that to me. No one said you threatened violence. But look at the little spurg tantrum you just went on. Oh, wow, Melton. So now you're saying I threatened any violence? Just more fucking words and lies coming out of your mouth. This is another one of those guys where you're no better than anybody else because you said that I threatened violence to you and I never threatened violence to you. But just keep on talking, baby. Come and get some. Woo! Click. Yeah, no one said you threatened violence. No one. Can you call back in now? Now that you owned me for saying a thing that you said? Can you call back in and have an adult conversation? 
Again, if that's how it's going to go every time you have a conversation, wow, how could you ever not win? This is the steel toe method of arguing. Stevie Lou, one time you threatened me. You said, keep fucking, keep fucking around with ski masks and see what happens. That's what you said. And then your answer to that was, so now you say I threatened violence on you? Wow, what another fucking lie, Melton. Keep lying about me just like everybody else. Everybody just lies about Stevie Lou saying that I threatened violence. I never threatened violence, but keep on lying, everybody. Come get some. Woo! Click. Take your meds and try to call back in and have a conversation. No one said you threatened violence. So it's weird for you to go on a little three-minute rant and hang up with a victory. Woo! You know, again, come get some? You sound like a fucking idiot. You sound like a fucking loser. Everybody's been coming and getting some your entire life. I mean... You're an, uh, this is unlikable as fuck, Stevie Lou. Come get some. You just made that up. Did you hear, did you see you spiral? You literally like cut that out. You made up an enemy, made up a war, defeated them, and then did a victory lap all while I remained silent. You made up a problem, defeated it, and declared yourself a winner and then hung up in victory. Is this how you operate? Again, I don't know if it's a blood sugar thing or you really do need some ADHD medication. You have a real listening problem, man. <laughs> no, no one said you threatened violence. But that didn't, cause, that didn't stop you from doing a three-minute rant about how I'm a liar for saying you threatened violence. And then you hanging up with a, woo, come get some. I mean, what a fucking loser. Hello? Damn, I'll just even come get some. Woo! I mean, really? I mean, what a fucking loser. No one said you threatened, but no one said that. And you just lost your mind. I, I, I'm on board to try to help you. I don't know why. I, I, by, by the way, I'm turning right before our eyes. I'm turning. I've been to nothing but try to fucking help you. Why are you attacking me? Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying about me? Yeah, I guess we're done. I guess this is it. I, I mean, I guess I, I, this will help me, like, move on? Because what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, what a fucking psychopath. You called to clear things up. I asked you about something. The whole reason I brought that up is to make a point. You hang out with guys who do shady shit. And when it's on your side, you run around using it like a weapon. Telling people like me, you better watch out. Don't fuck with ski mask. I didn't say you threatened violence. I said that's what you said to me. I, I, I don't care what it means. Physical violence, mental violence, harassment, targeting. I laughed when you said it, and I'm laughing now. That's not the point. The point is, you know you're hooked up with shady people, and you know you're involved in it. Again, just like Ian Hawk, just like Luca the Bot, just all you guys, you're all in it. You're all in fucking private messages and private groups, shitting on each other, doxing each other, trying to get each other, spread information about each other. Ski Mask went on his show and said he was going to try to find out where my wife worked. And I said, I can't have that. Guess what, bitch? You can. You can have it. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to find out where your wife works. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to find out. I'm just going to find out where your wife works. I can't have that. You are going to have it. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. I can't have you finding out. I can't have him talking about where my wife works. Do something about it, faggot. What world are you all in? You can't do shit. Shut up. Shut your faggot mouth. Anyone can talk about where your fucking wife works. Fuck your wife. Fuck her. Fly out, flail around more and let everyone know you care, bitch. You ain't never going to stop nobody from talking about where your wife works. Fuck, you're dumb. God, you're fucking dumb. 
fuck your wife and where she works. You can't do shit about it. He was talking about my wife and where she works. Then what happened? Then what? Then you spurged out about it. Then what? Did she lose her job? Did Ski Mask bomb it? Did he send guys with guns? What happened after that? What happened after he talked about where she works? What happened? Fuck, is she okay? Is she in witness protection? Is she okay, Stevie? Let us know. Call back. We'd love to know. Is she okay? Did she make it? Fuck. You're all in this business, right? Suck it up. Ski Mask, go find out where my wife works. Uh, go, go, go. Hey, Ski Mask, spend time on me like that. See who gives a good God fuck. I'm going to find out where your wife Find out. Find out. Stevie Lou thinks he's going to stop people from talking about it. I'm not going to have him. I, I, I can't have that. You can't have it? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm not going to have him going around talking about my wife. What are you going to do about it? Hello? Hey, quit the reaction you got there, Patrick. Yeah, no shit. You let, I mean, you let the guy on and you hang up and then you unload on him. Get him Nobody back hung up, up him on back. him. Nobody hung up on oh, him. Oh, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Get him back on. Send him I didn't link. hang him up. He can call in anytime he wants. Call in, bitch. <laughs> Stevie, call in, bitch. Nobody hung up on Stevie Lou. He's on your Discord right now saying he was hung he up on. He can do whatever he wants. Nobody hung up on him. Nobody hung up on him. Call back in now, bitch. Stevie, clear this up. Call back in. I hung up on him. I I just hung up on Quadfather. I did not hang up on Stevie. What a bitch. What a bitch. As I, I walked down 2nd Avenue towards St. Mark's Place, where all those people sell used books and other junk on the street. I saw my penis lying on a blanket <laughs> next to a broken toaster oven. Some guy was selling it. I had to buy it off him. He wanted 22 bucks, but I talked him down to 17. I took it home, washed it off, and put it back on. I was happy again, complete. People sometimes tell me I should get it permanently attached but i don't know even though sometimes it's a pain in the ass i like having a detachable penis uh colin donating to the toner fund thank you very much let's get greta van meat on that wall I, I i like look man i don't know what's going on all the guys in this universe are pussies no one ever stops calling me a pussy and i don't complain about anything anyone does to me and they all do way worse than whatever the fuck you're all bitching about they posted a picture of my wife and i can't have that you is you is gonna have it have it hello everyone knows that do blank and see what happens is an implied threat of violence I, 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 I don't. I'm it? not even saying it was. I think they were gonna like whatever. They're up to dirty shit. I, I, I assume they were gonna do whatever dirty shit they do to everybody else that they think that nobody knows about. Post your address. Post your p pictures of your family. Post your dad. Post your wife. Post your mom. Post your kids. I don't care. I don't care. They're the bitches screaming about you know victimhood when that happens. Do it to me. I don't care. Yeah, I think he's lost it, but good luck, Stevie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, he's just fucking gone. And by the way, go complain all you want. Go complain all you want. Uh, no one gives a shit. Go on my Discord and lie about being hung up on. We're all over it. We don't care. We know you're a lying bitch. You lied to me. You lied about me. And now you're... Uh, it, this, it all just shows what a pussy you are, Stevie. I don't give a fuck. Beat me up. Attack me. Find where I live. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. No one's done shit to your wife. Ski Mask is talking about my wife. And what, bitch? And what? Get over it. They're posting pictures. 
He said he's going to try to find out where she works. And what? And what? Get the fuck over it. Get the fuck over it. You're in this world. Deal. What are they going to do? Again, find out where your wife works and what? Send bread? Call three times? Giggling and hang out? And what? Burn it down? Get her fired? Have them reclassified? Zoned residential? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Ruin their credit? Grow the fuck up. I'm not going to have them talking about my wife. You can't do anything. So how stupid do you look freaking out and screaming about it? You can't do shit about it. You look stupid. He talked about my wife. Yeah, and that's done. It's over. He did it. Now what? Now you're just yelling. Guess what? He still talked about your wife. Who cares? Hello? Stop screaming. Fucking. What time you're a you? fucking idiot. <laughs> you're a fucking you idiot. No. No, I'm not. Because you did. You just made up. A- Shut up, Stevie. And you're going to have to fucking listen because you're not good at it. I tried to tell you a thing that you did, and then you made up a thing that I said you threatened violence. Where, Yell, where shut that? up where and listen. That? Where did it happen? Shut up. It happened where on the it? phone where seven minutes. Like okay, again, I'll turn you down, and when I'm ready for you to talk, I'll pipe you back up. But you're going to have to fucking learn to listen. Say you're sorry for putting words in my mouth. I never said you threatened violence. Where did that happen? Where did I say that? On my phone three minutes ago. No, where are you? When did I say to you, watch what happens? Where did that happen? I want to know that. I don't know because I don't care. We just laughed about it. Where where, where did it happen? Where did it happen? I don't care. Did I say that to you? No, no, no. no. It doesn't doesn't matter. You can't bring it up and not know where it happened. I can't. Where did that happen? I don't know. I don't care. Where did I say it? I don't know. You don't know. You don't care. So what the fuck are you bringing it up for if you don't know? You don't care. You sound because like Ray I'm right now. Trying to show you that you hang out with you idiots who like threaten Ray. shit all the you're time. Okay, like, I'll just do talking. that. Yeah, I'm showing you that you hang out with people who are used to threatening, threatening things and getting your way. You're used to making threats and hanging around with idiots who a believe your threats and b respond to threats like that. I don't do it. I don't need to know where, you can't bring it up unless you know where I said that and when I said it. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't care. It it was a joke when I heard it. I laughed as hard, when you said it, I laughed harder than I've ever laughed. But that is the guy you are. That is the guy you think you are. That is the people you think you hang out with. You think you run shit. You think you guys are tough. And then when it gets turned around on you and somebody does something that's fair game to you, which again... Anybody can post a picture of your wife, and anybody can say, I'm going to find out where your wife works. Anybody can say that. It's not against the law, and you're not going to do shit about it because you can't. So my whole point was to show you that you are used to hanging around people who try to intimidate, try to make threats, try to insinuate violence, even without outright threatening it explicitly. You're in that world. So to act, you know completely insanely surprised when it comes back on you a little bit is a is a bad look so i don't know i don't need to go find and show you receipts of when you said that to me i don't care i'm not crying i'm not a victim again when people do this stuff to me i never ever ever come on here and bitch about it i'm not a bitch every day people fucking threaten me every day my life my wife my dad my family every fucking day Every fucking day. You're a bitch. You play in the mud, just like Chad, and the minute you get anything back, you bitch. I don't. I take it all. I never complain. I take it all. I laugh. I say, come on, show up. All of it, come You know why? I can't stop you. So do it or don't. 
Stop talking to me about it. Get a gun and come. You fucking pussies. Talk about my wife and where she works. I don't care. Get a gun and come. <laughs> you fucking bitches. Keep it going. Anything you can do. I'll never say uncle or stop. Do it. Bitches. You're all bitches. Fucking put They're talking about my wife and I'm not going to have it. You are. You are. Fuck your wife. You fucking idiots. Hit the like button. Fucking bitches. You can't bring that up unless you know when and where. I Shut up. Shut up. You know you said it. Shut up. You got the wrong one, bitch. You got the wrong fucking one. Get me his wife's info. I'll send her an edible arrangement. I swear to God. Get me his wife's info. I'll send her flowers. Just to show you you can't do shit. I'll send your wife chocolate-covered pineapple as a bit. It's just going to say, Melton. Mwah, Melton. <laughs> ah! Orange Goblin for the blacks. I assume this is a toner related. I mean, I just fucking embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'm not going to have Ski Mask talking about my wife first. He did. He did. Now what? Now, now you just look like a bitch running around saying, I'm going to stop it. You ain't. You ain't. Let it go. No one cares. Fuck, you're also self-important. Do you think I get, do you think I can't think you care about my wife? No, so I don't worry about it. Go get her. Get off my back for once. Email her. See if I give a shit. She already thinks I'm gay. You're going to turn her? No. No. What a, I mean, I mean, really? Now he talked about your wife and you look like a powerless bitch. He's going to stop talking about my wife. He ain't. He ain't. <laughs> I mean, fuck. It's like Internet 101 over here. How about you just ignore it and move on and then he'll he'll let it go. <laughs> like fuck. Stevie Lou and, and Kevin Brennan are real worried about you talking about their wives. And so guess what? So guess what? Wives wall. Wives wall. We're putting up a wives wall. All right. Try it. Try it calmly, please. All right. I'll keep this quick and you're not going to like this. I don't care. But this is why this is why you're full of shit. All right. In a C. You told me about someone who contacted your wife on Facebook and how that was a problem. So. No, I did it. No, I did it. Okay, you, idiot. You, here we go. Here we go. You dummy. Let's go. Let's go. First of all, it was Michaela in our chat who messaged me, not my wife. Again, you know, everybody has everything wrong. Everybody has everything wrong. She messaged me, not my wife. She messaged me saying, can you tell your wife to accept my friend request? And then I yelled back at Michaela and said, you don't know my wife. Why would she accept your friend? First of all, I don't think you know who my wife is. Again, everyone thinks they know everything. You all have it all figured out. Second of all, I just said, why would my wife accept your friend request? She doesn't know who you are. Also, why do you want to be friends with my wife? She doesn't know who you, you don't know her. It wasn't a problem. I'm saying it now. Again, I'm ungettable, bitch. I didn't bring this up to not protect me and my ego. I was trying to protect Michaela. But guess what? Now it's out. Now it's out. So, Michaela, I'm sorry. You know, I would never do this and shame a fan out of nowhere. But Stevie Lou thinks he wants to get people. So here we are with me being embarrassed and got again. My point is you're mentally ill if you want to be friends with my wife on social media. You don't know her from dick. 
So my question to Michaela was simply, why do you want to be, why should I, you want me to go, let's even pretend like you have this all right. I'm going to go to my wife and go, there's a woman who listens to me who thinks she's figured out who you are and she wants you to accept her friend request because she found you online being a, being a secret little dig it up spy. Sounds insane, right? Sounds insane. And then my wife would go, who is she? I don't know. She's just a fan of mine who stalked and thinks she found you, so she wants you to accept her friend request. And then she'd go, what? And I'd go, right, right, this is dumb. <laughs> and I, it's, oh, that's, that's it. End of story. I told Michaela, why do you want to be friends with somebody you don't know? And why would she want to be friends with you? And Michaela went, uh, good point, I guess. Right! <laughs> and by the way, that's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. And I think I mentioned that, just how crazy fans are. Like, hey, I stalked you and found out who your wife is. Tell her to accept my friend request. What an insane thing that is. And I guess I must have mentioned that to Stevie. By the way, never tell Stevie anything, I guess. You know, again... I, I know this. I would never tell anyone I wouldn't want repeated. I would never tell anybody anything I wouldn't want repeated. That's why when somebody tries to call up and hold it up to my temple like a gun, remember that thing you told me that you didn't want out there? Let's talk about it! Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the time I said Michaela is damaged in the brain for trying to be friends with someone she doesn't know. Boy, did you make me look dumb here, Stevie. Boy, does my wife look retarded. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Michaela says, I didn't stalk her. Her Insta was posted on Twitter. No, it wasn't. Again, you all think you know stuff. <laughs> you all think you know about stuff. You don't. You don't. <laughs> Someone said this was her. Someone said this was her Insta. Someone said, you know, again, no one's making fun of you for stalking her. I'm just pointing out how dumb it is to think I'm going to tell a stranger to be friends with you that you have no business knowing and don't know. Michaela, go to your husband and tell him to accept my friend request. What? Right! <laughs> Sounds dumb. Doesn't make sense, does it? Sounds stupid. Michaela, why doesn't your husband want to be my friend? Oh, wait, I don't fucking know him! So again, Stevie, sick get. What does this have to do with shit? This was your example of people fucking with my wife? She didn't do shit to my wife. She messaged me. So, A, you can't listen and follow a story. No one harassed my wife. No one. You know why? Harassing is in the eye of the beholder. You can get an email and decide to let it harass you, or you can fucking delete it and move on. You can hear Ski Mask, a fucking drunk idiot, Say he's going to find out where your wife works, and then what? Have another barrel of alcohol and fall asleep, you feckless bitch? Or you can listen to a drunk like Ski Mask say he's going to find out where your wife works, and then you can fucking spiral out of control and try to control it. Run around telling everybody he's not going to do that. You're not going to stand for it. Guess what, bitch? You're standing right, and he already did it. So, did anybody do anything tough? <laughs> Stevie's example of people harassing my wife and her not liking it is Michaela messaging me, asking me to tell my wife to accept her friend request. That's your example of my wife getting harassed and not liking it. Again, you've just completely screwed up the story. My wife isn't aware of her, Michaela. She doesn't know she exists. 
But this is your example of harassing my wife. Okay. Okay. Do you want to call in and try to do another bomb, Stevie? I'll wait. Again, I have no problem with Michaela. This was all handled privately, and I would have never, ever brought this up. Again, it wasn't a harassment to my wife. It wasn't a harassment to me. I just thought it was weird for a person who I don't know to ask me to go to another person she doesn't know and ask her to accept a friend request from a person she doesn't know. That's stupid and weird. Agreed? I, I think we all agree. Right? I, I don't need to be... Imagine me messaging you telling your... Hey, have your mom accept my friend request. Have your wife accept my friend request. So, any other burns, Stevie? Again, what's what's the funniest part about this is you thought it was a secret. You thought it was something you had on me. I love that. I love that. I love when you shoot your shot in, 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 a, in a worthless situation so I can see who you are. Hmm. Noted. Noted. Stevie, Lou will hold private information and try to use it against you publicly at the first opportunity. Luckily, Stevie Lou's dumb, and he can't remember what he's talking about, and it doesn't hold any sort of relevance. Boy, Stevie, fuck, am I... I should have... I'm mad I told you that. I'm mad I told you that. I, I had no idea you were going to call in and bury me like that. Fuck! Stevie, you have no information on me that can hurt me. Call in. Call in and hurt me. Bitch, call in and hurt me again. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa, no, no, no. Whoa, S-I-R-I, -I, the assistant on your phone, just said calling emergency services. It was like dialing. What did I say? Maybe it was like detecting my heart rate. Again, Stevie Lou, what the fuck? What the? I mean, you lost an ally. I, 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 have, I, have no, I don't even know what to fucking say. I don't even know what to say. This is all for Kevin, I assume. This is all for Kevin. We will be laughing. When you have no money and he cuts you off. We will be laughing when he kicks you and you're down. I'm not laughing when he kicks Ray. I'm not even laughing when he kicks Chad. You, you, you told everyone who had your back to fuck off for Kevin Brennan is what you did. Are we okay? Dear Lord, man. Uh, to, 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 uh, this is for the blacks, and I don't mean the toner. Wow. Like reparations? Uh, please talk about uh, Mr. Doodle. God, I love a doodle. I love my dog. You know what? You can tell Stevie Lou has cats and not a dog. This, this is cat guy energy. That should be a bumper sticker. Cat guy energy. It really is. It really is. This is a guy with a cat. This is a guy who scoops shit out of a litter box, 100%. This is a guy who scoops piss and shit out in clumps. Get a dog. Save yourself. Men with cats. Doghouse Riley says doodles suck. You can you can fucking die. What's not to love? Golden Retriever. Poodle. What's not to love? I'll fucking come over there. Please talk about trans surgeries and why we should all go trans to save the environment. I have proof Bob Levy went down on Mike Morse. Z-Man is a girl. There's a lot of revelations in one chat. I feel like this is going to have to be broken out into study groups. 
Are super tips harder or easier for Shuli to fake? Um, impossible. <coughs> I don't know if Moody's here, but um, Moody, could you send in a free uh, super tip? Not a voice. If Moody's around, send in a free super tip. I'll show you what happens. First of all, the only people who can send in super tips um, for free, like a fake super tip, are admins for a show. So, like, even Pat, Pat Dixon's an admin for his show. He can't send in a, a free super tip to my show. He can send in one to his show. Taz, the resident artist, can send in a free one. So that, so that basically the producers can send in a message that shows up as a super tip. But it'll always show up as zero dollars. So there's not really a way to fake it. Um, the voice ones, I guess you could put in a fake voice one, one, but those don't show dollar amounts anyway. If that makes sense. Crayon Bird, member for seven months. Is this where I come to get some? I, I, like, I don't even know what the... The problem, too, is his communication style. <laughs> you know? Again, after losing the argument and, and uh, trying to make the other person look stupid by, I don't even know what, again, putting words in my mouth, oh, well, so now you say I threaten violence, just another fucking liar. These are just lies people tell about me. You say I threaten violence. I don't threaten violence. I never threaten violence. You're saying I threaten you violence. I never threaten violence. It's like, Stevie, shut up. No, I'm not. I'm not saying you threaten violence. Yeah, 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 you're a liar. You say I threaten violence. You say I threaten violence. Come get some. Woo! click it's like imagine being his his fucking physician imagine having to diagnose that so yeah at some point it's just like again i i, I said it before quad father and little lemmy and like these are like the most normal people i've met <laughs> i've never even met them i've never even met them everybody hates lemmy because she joked about Having an incest baby or something? <laughs> Zinn's producer, like, hates Lemmy. Like, she fucked her brother and had a baby or something like that. And, and Lemmy said it was a fucking bit. It's like Rick's. So is everybody okay? Again, like, even if Lemmy fucked her brother, it doesn't mean you can't fuck her and still have a good time. You know? Brother dick doesn't, like, rub off inside sister clit. Patrick, I, I don't think you understand anything about human bodies. You rub off in sister clit. Ah, drive. No, Connor. Sorry. Uh, ever since Stevie tried to become a guy, I've wondered if he was a brilliant troll or a retard. I think I have my answer now. And again, if he's over on our on our. Uh, thing saying I hung up. I never hung up on him. I did fade it down. I hung up. I, I did fade it down. But it's because you can't, like, I'll let you talk. But, like, here's what's happened the two times Stevie Lou's called in. Number one, again, he put words in my mouth and then swatted me down about it. He said that I said that he threatened violence, and then he said, no, I didn't. You're a liar. You're just one of those liars. Come get some. Woo! Even though I never said that. So, again, he, he defeated an enemy that doesn't exist and then hung up himself. That was the first call. And then he called back in to bring up a thing that he thought he had on me that was secret. And, again, I hate, I hate to really, like, explain it like this, I would never tell Stevie Lou something that I didn't care if it got out. The entire reason for that story, never making it on this man's air, is I don't need to yell at Michaela. But that, that's what that was about. But thanks, Stevie. I guess you really got me by making me open up this embarrassing thing. Again, I... I don't think Michaela is a bad person. I don't think she meant anything bad by it. But when put in perspective, why do you want me to reach out to a person you don't know and tell them to be your friend online? Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. Again, uh, Michaela, I'm not mad at you. This would have never come up. I don't hold grudges. I don't give a fuck. 
It, but it, it, it would be the same as me asking Stevie Lou to tell his wife to accept my friend request. But Stevie Lou had this pocketed in his brain like it was a, like it was a, a piece of secret information he was going to pull out as a weapon and own me with. Patrick, you actually confided in me in Atlantic City that somebody was harassing your wife and it became a major problem. What? What, liar? What? What, liar? No one has ever harassed my wife and it been a problem. No one ever. Ever. And again, bring it. I'd love to see what you have. <laughs> Shoot them all. Shoot all the bullets. Shoot all the shots. But way to reframe it to try to make it look like you had dirt on me, loser. No one harassed my wife. A woman messaged me asking me to tell my wife to accept her friend request. My wife wasn't involved in this at all. Do you understand? No one harassed my wife. She didn't know about this. She still don't. Do you think I went to her and said, Michaela wants to be? No, no. She don't know Michaela. She don't know her. If you asked her about this, she wouldn't have any knowledge about it. So no one harassed my wife. She thinks this is gay. <laughs> but you see who Stevie is. He thinks he has a gun. He going to shoot it. He thinks he finds a bullet on the ground. He's going to hold on to it and fire it back at you later. Fuck you, dog. Fuck you. Not only are you a piece of shit for trying to do it, you're a loser for failing to realize that what you had was nothing, Nannerpus. You can call me Nannerpus, Nannerpus. And guess what? I love Nannerpus. You can call me Nannerpus, Nannerpus. And guess what? I love Nannerpus. So th this is the guy who, who robbed a bank with rubber bullets and then turned himself in outside. What a fucking idiot. What a fucking idiot. I've never been more owned in my life. Boy, I would love to see how that played out in your head. I'm going to call up with this. I'm going to mention this secretive thing about his wife being harassed, and then he's going to fall in line. Yep! Yep! Stevie, don't talk about that. Don't talk about my wife being harassed. That time that Michaela harassed my wife to the point where she was in tears? Don't talk about that. Easy, Stevie. I'll do anything. I'll say anything. Don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. I'm melting. I don't like it. I'm dishonest to my audience. I tell you all my deep secrets. Don't share, Stevie. None of you know anything I'd ever, ever, ever be worried about being repeated. Michaela says I didn't stalk her. I, I, I know. Leave Michaela alone. She's fucking fine. And Michaela, I'm sorry. I would have. This would have never come up ever. But I can't risk Stevie running around thinking he has something on me. So I'm going to show the world how cool, how crazy it was and how worried I was about my wife being harassed, even though no one contacted her. What an insane story he twisted up in his head. No one contacted my wife. She's not aware of this. And in his head, he's like, you told me a story about a time when your wife got harassed and it was a big problem for you. I did? <laughs> Fuck. Maybe I'm thinking of a different story. Do you have a different, hold on, do you have different ammo about my wife, Stevie? Call it and tell it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of a different story because maybe I blocked it out because it was so traumatic. Do you have more info on my wife? Do you have another bombshell you want to call in? I'm, I'm serious. I'll, I'll let you talk. Stevie, you have unbridled access to my show from now on. You're very, very funny. You're allowed to call in any time about anything. You you have you have the hotline. <laughs> you you can call it about anything. I'll always take the call, Stevie. I'll always take the call. That's how confident I am I am in your fucking inconsistency and your inability to say or convey shit. Jesus Christ. Talk about getting over your skis. It's like it's like he it's like his tongue gets in the way and he just starts and then he like confuses stories. 
No, no, no. Melton said that one time I told him, keep talking about ski mask and see what happens. So then you went on a thing about how I said you're violent? I mean, yeah, keep putting words in people's mouth, loser. You have unfettered access to this program, and I mean it. I mean it. You can always call in here. You can always come get Melton. Why do you have that Siri thing enabled? That shit is scary. Siri is the first thing I turn off when I buy anything Apple, says Anonymous. Why do you have that Siri thing enabled? Hello? Hey, it's the hot. Uh, just remembering this. Remember over the weekend you confided in me that Citizen M was going after your dog? Yeah. And it's been harassing Brad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You confided in me over the... Imagine me confiding in Stevie. You know, when when I was doing coke in your room and you were really vulnerable, you opened up to me about a time when your wife got really, really hurt by a fan. Who What? My wife couldn't name one fan. I think Barry Ribs. She knows Barry Ribs. She calls him the guy who chews his own cheeks. So, whew. wow. Ooh, something just happened here in the studio that gave me chills. Chills. Uh, I, would, I would divorce Stevie Lou, Fearless. Yeah, good point. Good point, Fearless. You might want to pull out. You might want to pull out of the wedding. Oh, God. The idea of fucking with Stuttering John uh, with Knight's Pick is hilarious, but there's also a history of him ripping people off from way back in Stern days to present that I'd like to see somebody do a deep dive on. Okay. Send me the info. Jay Santos, member for 10 months. Thank you. Spurgtopia, Donnie, I just sent you Lou's wife's info. Cool, cool. I'm I'm going to send her flowers, and then what? And then what? I, we all should get her info and send her flowers and say, I'm so sorry about your husband. Good luck on the next one. Fuck. They, we should all send her a card that says, we get it. We understand now. Jesus Christ. Run. Run. Uh, Chris Hall, maybe, uh, Stevie Lou is mad because his wife is, uh, taking that Mandingo meat stick while he pulls his limp macaroni, wishing it was him talking to the Newport thigh slapper. Whoa. A lot of nicknames in there. I don't care to dive into Jimmy. I Melton. What's with April's skin condition. It looks nearly as bad as yours. That's what I'm saying. Some people are not made for 4k cameras. And, and when you see, uh, Steel toe step out from behind their their shitty you know Logitech C920 camera and in front of an HD camera. It's like whoa, God! April looks like a picker. She's like she's picking sores all over her fucking dermis. April M. Alt, member for four months. Michaela wants to be your mates like she did with Steel Toe Morning Show. She spent her life trying to get ahead of uh, Little Lemmy out of pure jealousy. She's mental as fuck. Is this true? Look, maybe this is true. I don't know. I, I, I don't have a problem with Michaela. I don't dive into Michaela. I'm, I'm, all I did was point out to her, like, you want me to go talk to a person you don't know and tell her to be friends with a person she doesn't know because you both know me? It don't even matter if this is my wife or anybody else. It don't matter if it was Kool-Aid. What? Hey, could you, uh, hey, hey, could you get your shift supervisor and tell him to accept my friend request? What? Why do you want to be friends with somebody you don't even know? You might you have nothing in common. I mean, it just makes no sense. She's the wife of a guy I know, I listen to on the, like, yeah, it'd be like wanting to be friends with Ashley LaRue. It's like, Why? She doesn't have anything to do with Steel Toe Morning Show. 
Uh, again, I, I don't care about any of this. This was, this was months ago, maybe six months ago. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's like it's like Stevie going like, when and where did I say that? It's like I don't have a folder full of clips. This, this is how important it is to me. It's not. It's not. When you threatened me, keep talking and see what Ski Mask does, we all laughed. When nobody clipped it and said, this will come in handy later as evidence against Stevie. We don't all think like that. Apparently, Stevie puts things in the compartments where he's going to whip them out later and try to get people. Not everybody else thinks like that. I don't need to prove to you that you said it. I'm a human being, and you said it to me. I remember. I remember it. I remember it. You said to me, keep talking about ski mask and see what happened. Again, I don't I don't know if it was violence or not. I don't care. It was stupid and funny. But you hang out with guys who say shit like that. You hang out with faggots who do things like itch themselves with guns while they drink. You know, these are people who consider themselves tough because they own firearms but don't own, you know, a house or have credit. So I, 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 do I think Ski Mask is crazy? If I was drinking around him and he didn't like me, he'd snap and shoot me with his gun? Probably, probably. I'm never planning on being in a room with Ski Mask while he's casually tipping him back and twirling a gun on his finger. And I happen to think that most people will sober up on the four-hour flight to come kill me and maybe reevaluate their lives and their decisions and not go through with it. So I like to just cut it at the, I like to just nip it at the bud and, and make fun of all your threats from the get-go. Keep talking like that, Melton. Keep talking like that, Melton. I'm going to come to Hackamania. Come! Come! I mean, should I spend four months uh, biting my nails about it, or should I just see you there? You can not even tell me you're coming. Just come kill me. You don't have to announce it. Just get a gun and come do it. Save me the three months of fret. Hello? Uh, hello, Melton. Uh, you think Stevie Louie is protecting his securities on others? That's why he acts like that? Thank you. Um, I can't understand anything you're saying. But we wish you well, and we hope you get a new phone. Whew. Uh, Chad Boozmock. Stevie's the only guy who believes Chad made 100K. So he's trying to become and act like Chad to get attention and relevance uh, that he can. Even KB is going to get tired. Everyone knows KB is going to get tired of him except him. Everyone knows this. It's not new info. Deep service, stop gaping, Stevie. Uh, he can afford to have his guts put back in. This is the sixth month I've been remembered with con without consent. Hit me up, Michaela. Fuck KBs. Fuck Stevie Lou. Uh, Cody Mack, when can we expect the first edition of Turntable? I think this is it. LL Cooley, Michaela tried to friend my mother's accountant. This is true. <laughs> this is probably true. The fuck is going on? I, I've never seen such insane shit. Now Stevie Lou's texting me. Don't text me, motherfucker. Don't text me. You're in your own world. You're insane. You're insane. He's sending me screenshots as if I'm going to read these. I ain't. I'm not into anything you're telling me anymore because you're a dishonest person. You've already lied to me once. You've already sent me screenshots that were you tried to misdirect and mislead me with once. You sent me screenshots of somebody posting your wife's picture on another Discord and tried to say it was on my Discord. You're a liar. You're a liar, Stevie, and you're a bitch. You feel everything too much. You feel it too much. I'm not even going to look at what you sent. I don't care. You're a liar. You, you owe nine apologies and nine days of acting sane before I'll ever, ever, ever even give you the time of day again. You nut. You want to accuse Fearless of something, call up and do it. Call up and do it. I'll let you on. Come yell at her. And then she'll fucking tell you what's what, disprove you, and you'll look even stupider again. 
You want to come back for the third time today? Like a tetherball just being beat the fuck around a pole? The pole is my dick. Let's go. Short pole. You got something to accuse Fearless of? Come do it publicly. I ain't reading your little messages anymore, faggot. You're a liar. (laughs) So call up and act tough. He said to me something. uh, Is this Fearless? I don't know. I don't answer questions from dumb men who keep screenshots on their phone. You got a problem? Say it. Is this Fearless? I don't know. Is it? Say what you mean, fag. Say what you mean. You got something to say? Spit it out. Stop messaging other men screenshots. Is this your girl? Is this your mod? Is this your boy? Say what you want to say. What did she do? What'd she do? Say that she was going to talk to a guy who said he knew how to find out where your wife worked? I'm not going to have her talking about knowing a guy who says he can find out a guy who knows where my wife... I'm not going to... You are! You are. We might lift a ban on harassing people on my Discord as long as it's Stevie. It's open season on bitches. It's open season on bitches. Fuck, you got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. You've shot nine shots now, and they've all landed in the sea. Do you have anything else? You know, I mean, this is pathetic. The fact they're even bringing up these screenshots. Did something just happen now, today? How long have you been sitting on these screenshots? You bitch. You bitch. With your little purse full of evidence? You're a bitch. You, you, what do you, you keep this in a purse. A purse. You got screenshots and you're going to get people? You got evidence? You got a little pocketbook full of screenshots? That you're going to lie to people about? This is from your Discord. No, it's not. No, it's not. Liar. They're talking about going to find out where my wife works. That's not illegal. That's not illegal. This whole show is about where your wife works. Post it in the comments where Stevie's wife works. Which Krispy Kreme is it? These, these guys really got to get into the Streisand effect. The more you scream and, and put up resistance about something, the more we're all going to talk. I'll never, ever stop talking about Stevie Lou's wife. I'll never, ever. Weekly, I'm going to send her a card. <laughs> I mean, fuck. There are fans in my chat room who have had real harassment more than you. Ski Mask was talking about going to find out where my wife works, and I'm not having that. What'd you do? How'd you stop him? How'd you stop him from talking about maybe finding out where your wife works? By the way, that's where you want to draw the line. That's where you want to react. Look, I sat still for a long time, but then they talked about finding out where my wife works. That's when I sprung up and started freaking out. Imagine we all find out. Imagine we all find out. She works at a dentist office. She's a hygienist. She's an arborist. She plants trees. She's an assistant professor at the Columbia University. I don't know, but whatever she is, imagine we find out. Ah! What are we all going to do? Call? (laughs) You know what I mean? What are we all? We're all going to. Show up in the lobby and do a flash mob? What are we going to do? More importantly, what do you think we're going to do, you fucking bitch? What are you scared of? What's the worst case scenario if we all go Virginia Tech, start shooting up your wife's workplace because we found out where it is? We've all been biting the bullet for this long. Now we finally know where she is. We're all going down there. What? This is narcissism. You know why I don't worry about my wife? No one cares. No one cares. The only reason they want to harass her is to get to me. (laughs) You care about her more than me, so have at it. Again, bother her, not me. Bother her, not me. I wish Michaela would have contacted her, not me. You understand? 
Ain't nobody getting me. Ain't nobody getting me. You choose to be got. You choose to be a victim. You can choose to be the guy that goes live every day and goes, they got to stop talking about my wife. They got to stop talking about my kids. They got to stop talking about my wife. He's talking about my kids. They're talking about my wife. They're talking about my kids. Yeah, people going to talk. People going to talk. Welcome to the world we're in. You, you're. Tr- I'm sorry. You're trying to control what people talk about? You knew, baby girl? <laughs> you knew? You, you, you're trying to stop people from talking about finding out where your wife works. I, I know two things for certain. You can't, and uh, now it shall be more. You can't stop anybody from talking about shit, and now it shall be talked about more than you ever, ever, ever dreamed. Fact. So how did it work out? Let's let's recap. Anybody and everybody who wants to talk about Stevie Lou's wife can and will, and now more than ever, shall. Stevie Lou looks like an ineffectual bitch because he's pounded his chest and screamed and called into many shows and complained about it on many shows that people are talking about his wife and he's not going to have it, but he can't do anything about it, so he looks like an ineffectual bitch. So that's the second thing. And number three, people who had your back in this universe through a lot of shit and accusations have now turned on you because you've lashed out and tried to get all of them in turn. Do I have it? Do I have it? Everyone who ever protected you over the course of the past year now thinks you're a fucking loser who can't do shit and can't stand up for himself and lies. And everybody knows that you're a bitch. And we're all talking about your wife and where she works. <laughs> it's funny because you said you're going to stop it. It's funny because you said you were going to stop it all. And look, I'm not dumb. This, this is how this shall go. C.B. Lou will now target me and my wife because he's an emotional bitch. I, I can't make this any clearer. I don't give a fuck. I'm not you. I'm not you. Get her. I, I know you're a bitch who's not going to do shit, so get her. Get her, dog. Show Melton who he's fucking with. Fucking idiots. Show me. Show me who I'm fucking with. Show me I've gone too far this time, and there actually can be some repercussions for Melton he's unaware of. No, there is something we can do. You can't! I get, like, or you can, and I can't, you know what I mean? I, either way, you can either ruin my life or you can't, and I can't do anything about it either way. You could destroy me or you can't do shit. I'm here to watch either way. <laughs> I, I swear to God, if I, one day if I'm drowning in molten lava, because you fucking uh, made a volcano erupt underneath me, as I'm drowning, I'll go, okay, I guess you can. I guess you can. I'll admit it. I'll admit it when you get me. I, I, I'm warning you, though, again, you've already tried all morning and look retarded. You want to go for more? You want to do more? You want to try to get me some more? You want, you, want, you want us to catch you with your arms flailing again <laughs> while you fucking fail? Because I'll let you. I'll let you. I'm going to let my dog Buzzard Bob handle this. How about it there? <laughs> Mr. Melton? Yeah. Uh, Mr. C.V. Lou might have a point there. I, I, I hate to bust your bubble, but uh, maybe you should let off, on, let, let off on her. She won't stop crying. I got her back here in my sleeper. The Jesus. Heifer won't shut up crying you about got, everything you're saying. You got Stevie Lou's wife in your sleeper cab? That's right. That's oh, right. She's, oh my no. ba- she's my backup sheet cover. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. Shut up, bitch. Fucking <laughs> oh. She won't back the hell up. Bitch, I done told you if you're going to be in this truck, you're going to have to deal with it. Well, Mr. Melton lights up, and he sets those crosshairs on that beady, no good, triple-headed, yellow-bellied Mr. Stevie Lou. Are you ready for it, Heffa? Here we go. Mr. Melton's got it lined up. You got him! You got him! You got him! Stevie Lou, you be good! Uh, 
Oh, shit. I really, um, no, I, I just like, I, I, I hate when there's no need for anything and it just goes to shit. Like literally three days ago, if you're like, are you friends with Stevie Lou? I'd say yes. Why are, why are we at odds now? Why am I calling him a fucking idiot and tell him to suck my dick and probably done with Stevie Lou now? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. He tried to get me twice today. Needlessly. Again, needlessly. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know. I'm just as baffled as you. None of this had to happen. I, 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 don't, I don't understand any of it. I'm, I'm literally in here today sitting here is it because you need content. No, no, no. We were going to do Steel Toe. We're going to do an insane clown posse. We're going to do, we had so much. You, you really believe that? You think, I, you think I came in here today wanting to, this Stevie Lou stuff was handled. This was all handled. What? What's the problem? There's no problem. Again, it's, it's the problem we're having here is like, and I don't want to lump Lemmy into this, but, or Lemmy, sorry, uh, Stevie into this, but it's like old men who don't understand the internet. Stuttering John, literally every other day, he's like, you can talk about my kids. I don't give a shit. The next day he's like, but they're trashing my kids. And he's incensed again about, Somebody talking about his kids, and it's like from day to day, they can't remember what they're mad about. From day to day, they think they can come online and control other people online. It's just like, don't try to do it because you can't, and it, you look stupid. Rule number one of the internet, you can't control any of this. So every time you come out and wag your finger at everybody and say, I'm not going to have this. I'm going to put a stop to this. That's enough of that. Nobody better talk about this. You look stupid. Steel Toe looked dumb when he did it, and Stevie Lou looks dumb doing it now. Kevin Brennan looks fucking retarded doing it. Everyone looks dumb doing it. Stuttering John, to this very day, thinks he's going to fight everyone who trashes his kids. You ain't. You ain't. Stevie views. This is what he calls himself now. FKA mommy says, wee woo. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, Troy Queso. Who are these pod wives? Finding out where they work. I, 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 this is the real problem though. Everybody thinks doxing is something is talking about doxing. Do you hear Stevie? Ski Mask did a show where he talked about he was going to find out where my wife works, and I am not going to have that. He should be able to talk about your wife's work all day. He should be able to talk about finding out your wife's blood type, where she works, how many hemorrhoids she has. Talk. You heard that, right? They're talking about finding out where my wife works. Well, that's not a crime. It's also not a crime to find out where your wife works. It's also not a crime to tell everybody where your wife works. Where, where does it stop? Where does responsibility start, stop, and end? If I announce where your wife works, so? It's not against the law, especially if it's on her Facebook page. If I can go to your wife's Facebook page, pull her pictures where she works, pictures of your kids, I'm not doxing you. She's telling the internet. Remember when you all thought it was cute back in 2007 with Zuckerbacker? When he released his cool site and you all wanted to join? My name's Kaylee. I go to the University of California, Berkeley. I major in this. I enjoy this. My parents are these people. My brother's this person. 
I've been working here for three years. Life milestone. That was all cute, right? Poking people, putting up articles you like, photos of you, your children, work updates, life updates. I moved. You did that. So if we say it, we're doxing. I, you're all confused. You're all confused. Your wife's allowed to post when she changes jobs, but we're not allowed to know where your wife works? Are you dumb? Now, look, what are we going to do with that info? Call? Again, what? Send a bill to bear? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's personal responsibility, though. If I decide to go there and kill your wife, that's on me. If I find out where your wife works from a podcast, I decide to go down there and commit a crime, that's on me. If I burn it down, that's on me. If I follow your wife home and do something to her, that's on me. Where? Where's personal responsibility? No one's got to do shit, Stevie Lou. No one knows about you. No one really cares about your wife. The only person this is affected is Stevie Lou. I, I'd hope to God you have the common sense to not go tell your wife about it, too. You know? You're like Sutter and John. Like, I, I, you're driving my, I tell my kids all the horrible things about him on the internet every day. Every day he calls up his kids and tells them all the horrible things on the internet about him. They're probably like, don't tell us. We don't care. The internet's not a real place. Are you the same, Stevie? Do you call your wife and tell her whatever? You won't believe what Melton said today. You won't believe what Ski Mask is going to do. She's probably like, yeah, I, I don't care. Hello? I think it's ironic that both of your wives work at the same place. Spatula City. Spatula City. Doxed. Doxed. My wife works in the ladle department at Spatula City. <laughs> it's through the curtains in the back, you know? Uh, Stevie Lou, member for 11 months. Stevie Views, get some. Again, like, I think he thinks this is all a joke. I, I think he thinks, like, no, nah, no, nah, these guys don't understand what I'm trying to say. I, I make a lot of sense. You don't. You don't. You're dumb. You're dumb. Everyone's turning against you. This is retarded. Uh, I'm fucking physically ill. Uh, you see what happens? You don't have any toner. You can't print out a sheet. Where do we even go? Where do we even go? I could start covering something. I could end it. I could walk away. I could cry. I got to go figure out where to get toner now to make DK happy. Maybe we'll do a show tonight. I, it blew, blew my mind that he called it and tried to do that. Again, it's a, it's a nothing story. I, I have no problem telling this story about Michaela trying to friend request my, my wife. No. The way, he, the way, where he stored that in his brain blows my mind. You told me in confidence about a time that your wife got harassed and it wasn't a good time. Again, uh, you just, you, you, the story's all wrong. You have the story completely wrong. My wife wasn't aware of it or bothered at all. Michaela messaged me. Again, my wife wasn't even. But in Stevie's mind, he had ammo. Do you understand? The beauty of this is like what he thought he had. In his mind, he's like, Melton, Melton says he's above all the wife stuff. You told me about a time where your wife got harassed and you didn't like it very much. I did? <laughs> I did? This ought to be good. This ought to be good. Oh, wait. You have a story completely wrong and don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Right, right. So, again, like, th the funniest thing on the planet is, like, losers trying. Chad trying to build a studio. KB trying to get a green screen going and run a show on his own. 
the childlike glee when he accomplishes something your four-year-old can do. Look, look at it. It's like a green screen. Whoa. You know, again, it's done horribly. Anyone could do better. But Kevin did it, so he's just like, whoa, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's like Stevie Lou calling out. I, I imagine while he dialed that, he was all puffed up like, he's not going to like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let out a little secret that I have about Melton. You don't have any secrets about me. You don't. You don't. There's nothing I've told any of you that, that you could throw back in my face and I'd have to do a little... A little tap dance to get whoa easy easy he'll, uh, how'd you I, again I don't know what Stevie thought the story was. Michaela harassed my wife and sent her into hiding, and I had to sit her down and give her a talking to. <laughs> what did you think the story was? What did you think the story was? What did you think you had? <laughs> Fuck. Oh uh, yeah. That does ring a bell. Now that he's telling everybody, I guess it isn't anything that had anything to do with. <laughs> I brought up that there are lines in all this. There aren't. There aren't. There's the law. There's normal rules. It's not. That's no law. Michaela didn't cross any lines. She's just dumb. You're allowed to try to friend request my wife. That's not a line you can't cross. Go do it. Stevie, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. That's where we're ending today. You're dumb. You're dumb. Okay? You're too dumb to be a part of this. You're like Ray. You're unable to be talked to. You, you see what he's saying now? But friending your wife on Facebook is over the line. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. She might have friend requested her. I don't know. That's her business. Keep me out of it. Go re friend request my wife. I don't give a fuck. It's not over the line. What are you talking about? Don't put words in my mouth. I've never said stop. I never said stop. Friend request her. No one said it's over the line. No one. That's you, bitch. That's you. That's you saying that. You're being a bitch. I never said it's over the line. I said it's fucking weird, and I don't want to be involved. She messaged me. Could you go tell your wife to accept my... No! 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 I don't know you. I'm not going to vouch for you. No! That's what I think's weird. You messaging me, telling me to go tell her to be your friend. No! You go! You go. It's not over the line. Go! Go do it. Make up more. Make up more to make yourself feel like less of a bitch, Stevie. Make up more. No one said that. No one said that's over the line. No one. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> it's gay. It's gay. You think that hurts me? Friend request her. I don't give a shit. Leave me out of it. Friend request her and don't send me a message about it. You said that it's over the line. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I say I never, ever, ever say that. I never complain. I never bitch. I get more of it than any of you. Real life fucking with me. Real life. I never bring it up on this show. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. It's not over the line, bitch. Don't put words in my mouth. You're the bitch. You're the one with it over the line. It's not. Do it. Do it! Again, get your gun and come! Nothing's over the line! Bring it! Fuck! Fuck, you liar! Stop putting words in my mouth! You accused me of threatening violence. No, I didn't! Cope more! Wow, so friend requesting your wife's over the line, but no, it's not! I never said that! Keep coping! Keep coping! You're the bitch, not me! Not me. I'm not over here drawing lines. I'm drawing circles. Cross the line. I mean, it just, you're fucking gay, dog. You're gay. No one said it was over the line. Don't call, contact my wife. Contact her. Ask her about a lower rate on your home mortgage. 
She doesn't work in that. She's not doing that. The point, like, what the fuck? The fuck are you talking about? Fuck you. You you don't know harassment. You don't know what you're talking about. Fuck you, you bitch. <laughs> like, fuck you. Again, the, the sad part is that you're still trying to, like, get on top. Like, you're going to wag your finger and own people. You ain't. You ain't. The only thing, first of all, you'll own Chad. I do enjoy Stevie Lou owning Chad. It, it, wow. It goes to show you how low on the totem pole Chad is. Goes goes to show you how little of an alpha Chad is. Stevie Lou just buries him every time he's on. I do enjoy it, and I will continue to enjoy that. <laughs> God, you're dumb. God, you're dumb. Fuck it, like, oh, yeah, but us contacting your wife on Facebook's over the line. Who said that? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Who said that? Imagine me wasting my breath with that. Guys, I do want to say seriously, though, like, we've had a lot of fun here today, but contacting my life is over the line. <laughs> Again, I'm not dumb. How, how do I think that would go? <laughs> Guys, I do have to ask you for a solid, uh, you got to lay off contacting my wife. It's enough. That's over the line. Dream on. Dream on. <laughs> Matter of fact, we might have a contest. The, mo the person who can gross her out the most. Oh, God. I, I, it really is. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. Everyone's like living in their own chamber of awesome. <laughs> Living room free in Kevin's head, new member. Thank you. Uh, was that Shuley? K Ferb. Uh, Onion, pull out the badness. Barbara O'Neill. Oh, she's the one that makes all the surf gear. O'Neill. O'Neill surf gear. Hello. Yo, it's Greg Roots. I have $100 for anybody that spits on Steven, $200 if you spit on his stupid bitch wife, and $500 if you cut that bitch's hook nose off and send it to Interlo's P.O. Box. Please and thank you. Love you guys. So stupid. I, I don't want this. Again, I don't know Stevie Lou's wife. I don't know if she has a hook nose. All, all this is so stupid and dumb, right? Anyone, anyone who mistakes this for Melton trying to be an edgelord is so dumb. I'm showing you that edgelord's over. This, this stuff doesn't matter. This, I'm going to dox people. I'm going to go after people. We all, again, we're over it. You, I'm going to give out her phone. You don't need to give out phone numbers anymore. You can text me at Patrick at nobodylikesonions.com. That's how iMessage works. <laughs> Any and every fucking person listening to this right now can text me at Patrick at nobodylikesonions.com. You don't have to have my number. It works the same. And guess what? Twitter works that way and Facebook works that way. Number? You don't need anybody's number. We're going to find out where she works. And what? And what? Get her out early. Jump her on her break. Giggle about the name of her ball. I mean, what are you going to do? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't want edgelords. I want people who, who are past edgelording. Just come already. Slim Pickens. There are no ladies at Spatula City. How many times do I have to tell you we sell spatulas and that's all? I'm not saying you sell the ladies. Here come all the texts. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like, I, 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 you can reach out to me. You can get to me. There's no more like, we got your number. We got your address. It's like, I'm available. I'm accessible. It's not a secret. The whole thing with wives and children, it's like it's out of the playbook from 15 years ago. It makes people panic because the internet was new and they didn't know. Wow, you got a picture of my kids. Yeah, I have a picture of all your kids. All your kids. I have a folder with a video of Steel Toe's children on it. I'm not even kidding. Now, I hear it when I say it out loud. It sounds creepy. Am I going to do anything with that? I don't know. 
Am I going to lord it over him and be like, I have a picture of your kids for like edge lord 2005 internet stuff? No, no, no. You just never know. You just never know. Uh, Crazy Joe one, one time pissed in a, in a bottle and we saw his dick on stream. I have that saved in a folder too. To jerk off to later? No, I, I, I don't even know why. I don't even know why. It's just in my folder. It's just there. I, I know that it doesn't exist anymore. It was taken down, and who knows? Somebody might want it one day. It might come in handy one day to steal to a picture of his daughter on the stream. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe when the child abuse case goes to court, maybe Ashley LaRue will want it. You know, I don't know. But this whole thing of like I'm gonna get somebody's info and harass them, like they, there's it's there's never been a better time or a worse time to be harassed online. You can block numbers, you can block email addresses, you can filter out keywords, you can send certain calls to to never never land where your phone doesn't ring. I mean, there's no you've never had more tools to help you weed out spurgs and trolls and like it's just like so this is all a nothing burger. The fact that you'd have some guy who would text you every day and harass you, it's like, yeah, you can literally block that now. That used to be harassment. That used to be harassment. It's not anymore. Don't even bring it up. Just block the number and move on with your life. No, this guy calls me every day at the same time. It's it's just it's really becoming a toll on my mental. No, that doesn't that doesn't exist anymore. It's great. And the great part is that troll, he might still call every day and he doesn't even know it's going to the ether. <laughs> so you got the troll wasting their time with their Asperger's and you got you who it's not affecting at all. There's never been a better time to troll and be trolled. There's, there's, li there's literally almost nothing to complain about anymore. They gave out, you know, this is like when Kevin Brennan... Got mad at Calta. They gave out my phone number. It's like, and then what? Again, same thing again with Stevie Lou and his wife. And then what happened? Then my wife went to work the next day and nothing happened. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing? You, you, you choose how much you want to feel stuff. You choose how much you want to be a victim. You really do. So, again, I, I imagine we asked Stevie Lou's wife about this. She doesn't have a fucking clue what we're talking about. She doesn't care about any of it. Again, you're in the middle of a divorce. This is where you're spending your time and energy on getting Melton, getting Quadfather. Acid dust, member for 11 months. The overdose light comes with a free fish lunch. Kids are stupid. We got a fish lunch. I hit the wrong one. Baloney, member for 10 months. I was under the impression this was a show about apples. How long would it take? You start a new YouTube channel. You just start pumping out apple content. Maybe I'll start a new YouTube video where I, or a channel where I just do every an apple video a day. We'll call it apple a day. And every day I just talk about an apple or eat an apple. We let that go for like three years, right? This is a long, long game. And out of nowhere, one day after three years, when we have like 100,000 subscribers, people are going Apple crazy over our content. We've had festivals, farmers markets, fairs, booths, direct consumer sales through our website. We're a big, big thing, you know, appletalk.org. Three years in, then one day we come on and we just do an entire Nobody Likes Onions show about pedophilia and gaping asses. <laughs> and then people are just like, oh. Imagine the people who are on like apples for a habit downloading their daily Apple podcast and it's just all just graphic, graphic descriptions of ripping open children's assholes and banging them till they're loose their teeth are loose hello 
Yo, babe, it's Rerun. Um, I don't know if you've ever mentioned them. Just want to bring them up. Conzi Apples, K-A-N-Z-I. Go blow your socks off. Love you, bye. Yeah, we've had Conzi's. We've had the Conzi's. Again, I'm just a sweet tango guy. I'm just a sweet tango guy. Uh, Stevie was pretty stressed out with St. Patrick's Day being his busy time. Give him a break. Again, I don't even know what to say. Mortland, uh, May- Mortland. Mortland in Portland says, uh, sweet tango apples are bruised shit. I might end the show. I might end the show. Mortland in Portland. Um, I, I how do I get in anything today? How do I jump into Steel Toe? How do I? I didn't want to do this today. He's not wrong. Sweet Tango apples age like milk. What's wrong with everybody? First of all, stop aging your apples, weirdos. (laughs) You're like, these apples suck. I can't even age them. Stop aging your milk. (laughs) You're like, I can't even put my milk in my apples in my cellar for a few months. It goes bad. So stop, stop trying to have dry aged apples. Please, please. They age like milk. Stop aging them. No one ever wanted an aged apple. They want a fresh apple. No one wants aged milk. They want fresh milk. People want fresh milk. They, they never drink milk and go, what is this? A 76 pasteurized? Sheep or goat? Hello. Hey, Patrick. I got a hot take for you to keep this discussion going. Have you ever had a wax apple? Like the whole thing's wax? Well, no. It's 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 called a wax apple. It's based out of like Southeast Asia. It's like an apple and a pear. I've never actually seen them sold here, but uh, they are fucking good, man. So keep on with the apple talk. Yeah. Is this Stevie Ooh. Lou? Was that Stevie Lou? Imagine if Stevie Lou called in now just about apples and didn't even mention his wife. Imagine if Stevie Lou had the compartmentalization like that to be able to like, well, I don't agree with Patrick and his takes on my wife, but I do enjoy the show. So I'm just going to switch over to fan mode and get into some apple talk. Village Idiot, this not a show show now sponsored by Sweet Tango Apples. Get some! Roger Rodriguez, member of 35 months. I have not tried this weak tango yet, but I'm more of a pizzazz apple kind of guy. Everybody has their apple. My favorite's when somebody calls in about a pink lady or a honey crisp, like they're onto something. Again, we've all left we've all left those fool's apples on the road long ago. Imagine biting into a pink lady and thinking that's the best the apple world has to offer. Pink lady, I'm done. Slim Pickens, I heard apples were best for nunchuck target practice. I don't even know. Steel Toe's doing apple talk. Oh, boy. So, yeah, last night Steel Toe had to spend the night at the Ricadas. They were all in bed all night, and movie kept yelling over to Nick the entire time. Hey, you, get your damn hands off her. (laughs) Ah! So people who live in that area have said that this storm was on the way for a week. They've known about this storm. And so last night, April and Aaron went over to the Ricadas and accidentally got snowed in. Now, again, I don't know if it's true. I'm sure we have some Minnesotans in our chat. But is that true? 
Have you known this storm was coming forever? And did everybody know that this would be blizzard-esque conditions and they would get snowed in and they had to... Unfortunately, they had to spend the night at the Ricadas. <laughs> ah! And then Nick was running around in his boxer briefs with his pendulum swinging. And he was walking around the room just in underwear. Just, no, no shirt, no pants. Just boxer briefs. He was walking around the studio while they were doing the show. That's. Again, you and your wife, you and your husband stay at a friend's house. Does the husband come down just in boxers and walk around the kitchen and make your wife stare at that pendulous hog? No. Uh, I'm an hour from them. Snow warning started at 7 a.m., but roads were fine to drive till 8 p.m. or so before heavy snow started. They stayed Saturday night, too, said Ricada be fallen. I don't know if that's a troll or real, but we're going to need some evidence. How do you know that? Also, were they wearing different clothes? Here's how you know if it was planned or not. They did a members-only show last night. Was Aaron wearing a different shirt? Was April wearing a different shirt? Did they bring a change of clothes? And also, I got to I got to tell you, you know, just as a Who wants people over at their house every weekend? Every weekend, all weekend long, the Ricadas are inviting over the Imholtz. They said it on the stream today, said Ricada be fallen. Ricada be fallen. And then last night on the members only show, it's Aaron and Nick Ricada, and they're under 200 viewers. I thought this Ricada had like the biggest super chat show on YouTube. I thought this guy was rich. They had under 200 viewers when I watched in the middle of their show last night. And then, by the way, this morning, Rumble's over. Rumble is over for Aaron. I, I don't care what he says. Somebody go check now how many viewers they got on Rumble. It's, it's fucking dead. It was 250 on Rumble and they had like 280 on YouTube. They had more on YouTube this morning. It's pathetic. What are they doing? Who are they fooling? And again, the Rumble numbers. Can we go to that? Uh, there is something on Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit. Oh, look at me getting in the mood. Look at me getting in the mood. I think Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit had their uh, whole rant about about how they feel about Rumble. Ooh, did not age well. Again, I, this is, if I'm not mistaken, I, I have the date seared into my brain, June 19th. June 19th, 2023. This was Aaron on his show. One week before he went back to Rumble exclusives because they got banned off YouTube. This is Aaron one week before he started doing Rumble permanently. June 19th, 2023. The Rumble thing. This is fun. Uh, this is fun. The Rumble thing. This is fun. He reads topics on his own rundown. He makes topics for his show, and then he, like, comes to something he wrote, and every every item, he's like, this is fun. All right, let's talk about Rumble. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Rumble, nobody was fucking watching. It would say 200. I, I have a feeling that Rumble's multiplier might be, like, four times. They might be using a four times multiplier because there's no way that Rumble thing was any more than 50 people. I mean, it would be at 200 and nobody like if we had like on a members only show is like our lowest show and that'll have 200 some people Ooh, every night there. They're like 130, 150 now. So just to show you how it's all fallen, 
And that chat is moving really, really quickly. Um, and Rumble, it said 200, and there was nobody. So I just make everybody listen on YouTube, pump that number up as high as I can, and go with that. Rumble, f- no offense, Rumble fucking sucks. Woo. It's fucking terrible. Uh, I hate it. I don't like it. If I have to end up using it, I will. Uh, but I, I, it's not even worth restreaming on. It's not even worth restreaming on. It's not. I would probably do like Twitter, Facebook, shit like that. And again, he gets three viewers on those. Before I do Rumble. Because again, you don't know how many people are watching on Rumble. It's shitty statistics. They're using multipliers. Their chat experience sucks. The whole deal. So I just said, fuck it. There you go. That's his real thoughts. That's his real thoughts. Cut to them having a meeting with Rumble the week after. They got they got banned off YouTube. He comes back on. <coughs> a couple weeks later, he's like, Rumble's great. They're so responsive. Their chat's way better. The Rumble rants. They've got it figured out over there at Rumble. It's a, it's a much better experience. It's smoother. And they told me that the numbers are real. So now I believe them. The numbers are real. Ask ask any of them how they have hundreds of views before the thing ever airs. That's the best part. They'll schedule a video to start at 6 a.m. or whatever. And you go look at it at 5.30 a.m. before it even starts, and it's got like 300 views. To be clear, the video doesn't exist yet. They haven't streamed it yet. They haven't broadcast it yet. It doesn't exist. And yet it has 300 views before it even starts. Why would you ever believe any of their stats? Why would you ever believe anything? (laughs) How would that work? How are they doing today? Steel toe morning shit. Are they off already? Oh yeah, they stop at 8 a.m., right? Snowed in and lucked out. Oh no. Let's put a logo in each corner, April, so they know it's us. April, we'll put a logo in both corners so that they know it's the toe. They're not going to know it's the toe unless we have logos for Stonies all over the shop. Good morning, everybody. You are all so very pretty. April has her calm glasses on. You earned it. Hi, everybody. The HD is not their friend. I mean, April looks. We were watching a clip from Nat Clo 2.0's documentary on our members only show. She has aged so much in the last four years. Her, when you see HD coverage of her skin, it's rough. She literally goes from like a seven to a four. I'm not kidding. She's hideous. Hideous. 
hideous. Oh, I knew it. I knew we're in trouble. We got somebody wake up right now and call Patrick. He's so dumb. He's so dumb that he doesn't understand that we can't hear him over the music, but he's so confident. It's so good. Melton, so I, I want someone to warn him. He's so saying someone call Patrick Melton. I didn't see this. He doesn't get on his internet this morning and have a goddamn heart attack. I would hate to Again, he has no idea we can't hear him. Pro show. Pro show guy. <laughs> he has no idea the, the, the audio is drowning him out. Can't hear a word he's saying. Him have a heart attack and die. I would. If, I, I tell you what. There are not many things that I can honestly say I would not bounce back from. We can't hear a word they're saying. <laughs> right. Who would like honestly? Batman needs to jump. Wow. Wow. I mean, we can't hear them at all, and they're talking about me. I heard Patrick Melton. Right. And Red Bar doesn't have very long. No, no, and he doesn't have enough time. Patrick can at least get his ass out of bed yeah. and do shows. Well, I mean, he might see it down. Right. There's a very. It, uh, this sucks for me because they're talking about me. I do hear them. They are talking about me. They're ladling on insults. And I can't understand a word they're saying because he's too dumb and runs a show. So poorly that we can't understand a word he's saying. There's a very good chance there's a what's eating Gilbert Grape's mom situation. Oh, wow. He just cuts it off. Going on there. I would guess so. I don't know. But the point is, somebody better call him and warn So again, um, the mics are too hot. We just hear room echo. It sounds like a snowball mic on the table in front of them. Pro show. Warn him. Because I don't want him starting his show and turning on his stream and seeing this. Or, or. So again, they're constantly looking off screen, screen at Nick Ricada. Nick Ricada's in the room with them. And about an hour in, uh, somebody pays 200 bucks for Nick Ricada to come on shirtless. And Nick walks into the frame. He's got no clothes on except boxer briefs with his little peen showing. And he's in the room right now like that. So he's just in the room in his underwear, and they both keep looking at him. It's very, very weird. Or this, or this hunky fella. Again, they're looking at a guy in his underwear saying this. They're both staring at a man in his underwear. I I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Nick Ricada's in the room with them with nothing but orange boxer briefs on. Like with his package out. And they both keep looking over and giggling at him. For real. For real. And, and it doesn't matter if he's standing or sitting. Like think about sitting with just boxer briefs on. But he's, but he's there all morning with them and they're just staring at a man in his underwear laughing. Look at them. She's wiping her lips. It looks good. <laughs> oh, she called him a she called him an Abercrombie model. She says three or four times that he looks good. When she calls him an Abercrombie model later, she goes, "No, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding." Like, like she's into it. Thank you. I don't want Patrick. I don't have headphones. Whoa! I don't want Patrick. Tur well, you got the monitors right there. You got the in. Those are like made for his ears. Literally, my. Oh, yeah. God, you really are a Lakeville that's kid. That's okay. All right. The point is. I'm going to work with what I got. I, 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 that's what she said about her. <laughs> Pro show. They, can you, when was the last time their show started pro? When was the last time it wasn't plug this in? Do we have headphones? Do we have microphones? Can you get it working? I need a shirt. You need to shit. We got to go get snacks. Anybody got a cupcake? Anybody see my Red Bull? I mean. When was the last time this show started professionally? Marriage. <laughs> uh, I'm going to work with what I... She's staring at him. Again, none of this makes any sense until you see what he's wearing. He's nude. He's nude. He's nude. Let me just show you. Let me go an hour into the thing.
Or maybe it was almost two hours in. Let me show you. When does he come out? Can anybody get me a timestamp? It is around two hours. I guess it had to be before. Here, here. Look at this. This is it. This is what they've been staring at. Pulls along. Look. Shirtless Nick. Look, she's staring. Gentlemen, bringing his nipples along. Shirtless Nick Ricada. Bad hair. <laughs> there he is. Hey. Again, this is what he's been wearing while they just stare at him for an hour. Oh, it's a. Oh, no. <laughs> Now we have to prove that it's actually likes- if you fucking don't do it. Don't oh, God, you no. don't you fu- don't <sighs> There he is. Hey. Oh, it's a, oh now we have to prove that it's actually likes- if you fucking don't do it. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't Wow. Now, somebody's saying it's not as bad as I described. Okay. Oh, I see how it Tongue. More tongue. That could have got bad. Please. You- so watch this now. Watch him watch him walk away. You just calm down over there before you fall off that chair. Clean Abercrombie and Fitch model. Fuck. <laughs> And watch her have to make her husband feel better here. Just kidding. Just kidding. He's not like an Abercrombie and Fitch model at all. Just calm down over there before you fall off that chair. Clean Abercrombie and Fitch model. Fuck. Fuck. She's not, she didn't say it's like an Abercrombie and Fitch model. Jeesh. She said fuck. There is a difference there. Would you agree? One One's kind of like a sarcastic, innocent. She looks like a... Victoria's Secret model, jeesh. She looks like a Victoria's Secret model. Fuck. The difference, right? One of them indicates I want to fuck. Looks like a Abercrombie and Fitch model. Jeesh. Looks like an Abercrombie and Fitch model. Fuck. Fuck. You just calm down over there before you fall off that chair. Clean Abercrombie and Fitch model, fuck. Now Aaron's too busy tightening his knobs. <laughs> just kidding. There's more hair on what? Oh, she definitely checks out his cock. Watch this. Over there before you fall off that chair. Wait till she says just kidding. Chair. Clean Abercrombie and Fitch model, fuck. <laughs> just kidding. With more hair. With more hair. Okay. Here's how you know she ain't kidding. Ready? Ready to see it all? Watch the eyes. He's he's laughing and she's laughing and she's looking at him in the eyes right now. She's looking at him in the eyes right now. 666 people watching. Hit the like button. Could you get us over 322 today? It's our lucky number. Hit the like button, please. We need this. April's doing it for you. Scrimp City Magic. Watch her eyes go from his face to that dick. 
Nick. Watch. Pop. <laughs> Ready? You got to watch it. You're going to miss it. It's a very quick dick glance from April. You fall off that chair. Clean Abercrombie and Fitch model. Fuck. <laughs> Just kidding. Bump. 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 Watch the eyes. The eyes is everything. Bump. 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 Oh, see it? Look away quick, April. Don't get caught. Don't get caught burning a hole in that urethra. I'll do this all day. I mean, that's it. That's it. And then as soon as she goes down, she has to turn away to not get caught. You ready to see it in real time? Here we go. Watch her. Watch her catch. Watch her glimpse at his dick. And then just turn away real quick. You just calm down over there before you fall off that chair. Clean Abercrombie and Fitch model. Fuck. <laughs> just kidding. There's more hair on it. <laughs> yeah, boy. What? Yeah, but yeah, but what about Nick? Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, Lex Federale, I hope you're happy. Is he happy? Where is he? I would. Is that everything you ever wanted? I. I mean, she's she's grinning ear to ear. I would. Uh, you didn't wear short enough. And then she has to go back and get another little look. Look at this. Shorts. You didn't wear short enough shorts. <laughs> you didn't wear short enough shorts. <laughs> Gay. And now she's doing the opposite. Now she's going from the dick up to his eyes. Look at that one. Staring at his pants. Commenting on his shorts and then fuck me. Eyes. Los Federales says two ninety well spent. <laughs> Again, everything's just to these dopes. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Atta boy. <laughs> it's good. Wow. Monetizing his body. Yes. I don't want to hear shit about my bikini shit. Monetizing now. his body. <gasps> we oh, have our get ready. swimsuits upstairs. Get ready. We have our swimsuits upstairs. Ready for Rakeda to be all I'll be naked. Bar. We should all be naked. <gasps> Body. We oh, have get ready. Suits upstairs. Get ready for Rakeda to be on the red bar. He could sit back here being naked. We could put swimsuits on being naked. And we could really make Lemmy's head explode. Oh. So, Melton, Red Bar, Lemmy. Is this still a pro show? Intended for a national audience? Or is this a Melton Red Bar Lemmy wrap up program? I, what is this program? Oh, God. By the here? way, I have Lemmy news. I have such a nice chain one upstairs, too. I Damn. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to be around when this guy says he has Lemmy news. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Is there a more goofy motherfucker on the planet? Is there a goofier motherfucker anywhere? Like, what a goofball. What an actual fucking goof. <laughs> look at him. Just look at him. Uh, by the here? way, 
I have lemming news. I have such a nice chain one upstairs, too. I... Damn. <laughs> um. You do. I have lemming news. I wish you didn't. I got a message from someone this week, uh, a listener this weekend, okay. who said, hey, man, whatever you do, make sure you unmod little Lemmy because she's threatening <laughs> to ban everybody in the chat. Ban everybody? How do you ban ban everybody? Well, she's with her mod powers. Why isn't she unmodded yet? I just did this morning. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, that's good. So they have 35 mods. They they can't trust any of them, which is why they have so many. And all their mods are constantly, like, messaging each other and ratting each other out. You know, again, there was the Michael B. thing. This is the second mod in a week they've had to cut loose. I didn't know Little Emmy was even still a mod. But again, like, I don't know Lemmy, okay? Hit the like button. I don't know Lemmy, but, and maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe she's just, she's a shit stirrer and she's a troll. Maybe, I don't know. She seems like a genuine, like, normal person. I don't think Lemmy out of any, and again, I don't know this bitch from anything. From what I've seen and gathered, I don't think she would just, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to go start banning random people in the Steel Toe chat. I, maybe I'm wrong. But I hadn't before because I thought, what kind of a pathetic loser do you have to be to go? I asked him to unmod me a couple times. He refused. So I did what I thought would force his hand. Oh, so Lemmy had somebody tell on her. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a mod in this channel. I hate them. I'm going to go block everybody. The, uh, You'd have to pretty be weird. pretty gay. Hold on. Aaron thinks it'd be gay to block everybody on his channel, but Aaron blocks everybody on his channel. Aaron, you blocked Citizen M for saying April LaRue, and you warned MSO because he talked about watching a Citizen M video. MSO got a warning on Friday to not talk about Citizen M anymore, or he'll be banned. No, things, things are going really stable over at Steel Toe. Uh oh! You got, you got Rikeda talking off mic. They're having conversations with him. Just, just every, every fucking thing about. Uh, Aaron Emholt is unprofessional. Every fucking thing about their show. There's not one part of their program that is. More professional than another part. And I would ask this. If there's sponsorships to Midland Armory and Ro and Stoney's and uh, the tow truck company are so important, how does it work on a morning like this when they don't have Stoney's up on the screen? No Stoney's logo. Uh, how does that work? Does Stoney's get $100 back for today or... No, no, no. Of course, you and I both know there is no financial arrangement. Aaron drinks free at Stoney's. And in exchange for his free alcohol and food, he gets... Stoney's gets a logo on a show that 400 people watch. In exchange for free food and alcohol and occasionally Sto Cheetos kicks him... Some gift certificates that never get redeemed. You know, the gift certificate game, it's so so low risk for Stonies. Stonies could give Aaron hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars of gift certificates. They shall never be redeemed. Ever. No one's going to Stony. Even if you should find yourself in Minnesota, it won't be in Sauk Rapids. It won't be an hour away from lights. So just to be clear, Aaron and April drink and eat for free at Stoney's occasionally, and in exchange for that, the guy gets one-eighth of their screen the entire time they're on the radio. Forever. 
just so Aaron can get some free beers. How's that? How's that sound? Pretty cool deal. If it was a real sponsorship, there would be questions to answer. You you know money back for this show. But no, it's a it's a super casual thing. Cheetos doesn't give a fuck. It's not a real real sponsorship. Nick has a small saw and he wants to uh, cut my penis Why off. Why do you have that in here? Uh, Look at her face when she looks at him. Um uh, uh, for the, you know, you know what he has. A, you know what he has that saw for the hard days. <laughs> you ready? What are we paying? Everything has a price. No. Now does April think this is a toy? I think this is a real chainsaw. Like this, this can fuck you up. I will not cut my cock off for money. I'm worried. I'm too close to him. This makes me nervous. There's only one reason I'd cut my cock There's off. There's a. She's holding her. She's like got it on her hand, and she's like. Like she's gonna pull the trigger to feel it, like it's a toy. It's not a toy. <laughs> uh, fuck. Also, what is that? Is that a Milwaukee? It doesn't look like a Milwaukee. It's red. Uh, for the, you know, you know what he has. A, you know what he has that saw for? The hard days. <laughs> you ready? What are we paying? Everything has a price. No. I will not cut my cock off for money. I'm worried. I'm too close. I think it's like a generic little Black and Decker or something. Close to him. This makes me nervous. There's Somebody who's uh, who partakes in the Milwaukee ecosystem, can you verify? Let's have a look at the battery. Off-brand Chinese. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. It looks like. Uh, Yeah, that's not Milwaukee. Come on. Harbor Freight, baby. Yeah, that's not Milwaukee. It's cheap, cheap garbage. I will not cut my cock off for money. I'm worried. I'm too close to him. This makes me nervous. There's only one reason I'd cut my cock off. Look at her holding her hand on it. Please pull the trigger with your hand on it. Please. Please. Oh, it's Timu. A lot of weapons in here. The re the only reason I would cut my dick. Everybody's saying Chinese crap as if everything's not Chinese crap. Everything's Chinese crap now. Makita, Milwaukee, DeWalt. It's all Chinese crap now. Believe me. Off. Is because it's how I would. It's how I would feel. She's, she's so. Again, I thought you were a roofer. Feel best as a person to express my inner. Here, Feel. this is why I think you should cut your dick off occasionally. Oh, this is if you want to make I'm... fight weight, because that thing's fucking <laughs> heavy. Uh -huh. And then after making a joke about how big Aaron's dick is, she looks to Nick. Look at this. As if they're sharing a joke about how little his dick is. April made a joke about how big Aaron's dick is and then immediately looks to Rakata to share a joke. Is that not weird? Watch it again. You should cut your dick off occasionally. Oh, oh, this is if you want to make I'm... fight weight because that thing's fucking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Cut your dick off and you'll make that weight. That thing weighs like 10 pounds. Be fighting without a dick. A pound though. per inch, I mean, right? Thing's God. fucking thick. She said that thing's heavy. A pound per inch, right? That thing's thick. Hold on, 10 inches around? Uh, BJ with two bucks says director told Paul Dano after the song and action. That would be great if Paul Dano just started doing the song in 12 Years a Slave and the director was like, Okay. That's not in the fucking script. What movie? I, don't... I think I watched the movie Road Trip the other night, and fucking Paul Dano's in there, but like, no, it's Girl no, Next Door. Girl Next Door. Fucking baby Paul Dano. And then I was like, do you think he ever knew that he'd end up saying, uh, singing the... Did she just get Girl Next Door and Roadhouse mixed up? Paul Dano. And then I was like, like no, it's Girl no. Next Door. I think I watched the movie Road Trip the other... Oh, Road Trip. <laughs> okay. Hold on, Road Trip's the one with uh, Breck and Meyer and Tom Green and... Right? Ithaca College. 
And they have to drive down to like Texas or something. Right? Isn't that road trip? They're night and fucking Paul Dano's in there, but like, t- no, it's girl no, next door. Girl next door. Fucking baby Paul Dano. And then I was like, do you think he ever knew that he'd end up saying, uh, singing the run N word run? That he's, uh, he's. <laughs> Why does everything in their life revolve around inward jokes? They were announcing their engagement. We watched it Saturday night. The clip. They're, they're announcing their engagement to the world. And in the middle of it, I think they go like, sorry, I'm tearing up a little bit. My eyes are doing a George Floyd. No, get it? Because he cried right before he died, too, when he couldn't breathe. Every reference they have, every little jab, joke, reference, everything is like at the expense of a Negro or Negress. (laughs) You know, it's very weird. Hold on. What is Stevie Lou trying to do in our chat? Nobody's wife is off limits. What is he saying? Nobody's wife is off limits, shameful and disgusting. I just like, what do you mean off limits? No one's doing anything to your wife. Again, posting a photo of your wife doesn't hurt anyone. Don't look at it. Don't tell your wife about it. Tell an admin if somebody does it in our in our Discord, please. We will take it down immediately. It's not we you know, we not we're not trying to do that over there. So, yes, you still have protections, Steve. Like, we're not trying to fuck you up. <laughs> no, like, no one's after your wife. Stop it, queers. Stop it. <laughs> I really got to get a new life. Uh, Citizen M, member for nine months. I'm not everyone's favorite because of names I give their wives, but Stevie's wife is known as Lot Lizard Lou. At the truck stops. I don't know if that's true. Billy Carter, thank you for being a member. Nam saying, Nick is going to baldo the shit out of April. Sit down, Zumok, member for four months. Lemmy, I could use a moderator that would make uh, me thousands of dollars by promoting my sponsors like you did for Steel Toe. What if this is really Chad? <laughs> if only there was a way to find out. Again, I am looking forward. Chad's back this week. Chad's got to put his feet on the ground again today. He's got to start podcasting. I doubt there'll be a Mondays with Mazer today, but who knows? Sorry, I had to drive. I can't drive and podcast on the same day. Jesus. It's like Aaron. I can't podcast right now. Guys, I got to go plan a birthday party. I'm needed. I'm needed. My family needs me. Chad can never podcast. He's got to come back to it today. Two weeks of no podcast, but Chad's got to come back today. He needs money. So today, it's it's weird because Chad has to do the dance he does every time he comes back from the podcast. He's like, it was great. Two weeks where I, I just ignored you losers. I didn't have to deal with this world. You guys are all losers. Nobody knows about this world. So it was great to get away from it. I didn't follow any of this. I didn't follow any of this. I didn't watch anything. I was I was living real life, doing real stuff. You know, again, we all know this is coming, right? Same fucking, again, he just regurgitates it. But the beauty of him doing that every fucking time, he gets a, a gig, you know, every quarter, is that he has to admit that his normal life is full of losers and sucks. Because every time he has to go like, hey, for the last week, I didn't watch any of this. You losers. But th- but what he's essentially saying is, I don't have any bookings coming up. So I'm back here with you losers because this is the only way I have to make money. Other than felonies. So I'm back where I belong. Doing loser content for 78 people. This is so stupid. 
you're all losers. This is dumb. I don't pay attention to any of this except when I have to because I need $40 a day. <laughs> ah! I love it. I love it. Classic Zamak. Classic Zamak. Shit show. Stevie, don't make Patrick pull his podcast. Don't make Patrick pull this podcast over. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this whole podcast world is losers. You guys are losers. It's so stupid. Anyway, I'm back now. <laughs> I'm back now to be the bottom barrel of this loser world. Chad Zumach reporting for duty. <laughs> like, like, who's the guy who makes less than everyone? Who's the guy with no views? Who's the guy with the smallest Patreon? Who's the guy who sings the blues? Who's the biggest loser amongst the losers? Who's the biggest losers in the trash? Who's the guy with an empty apartment? Who's the guy with a pedestal sink? It's Chad. It's Chad. He hates you fucking losers. It's Chad. He's back. The king of all the losers. He has less fans than anyone he makes fun of. He makes less cash than anyone you've seen. His name's Chad. It's like, it's, it's like an unemployed man hanging outside of a fucking kitchen yelling at the Mexicans about making minimum wage. Wishing, by the way, he could. <laughs> you guys are all idiots and losers. Look at you working for, like, no money. Fucking pathetic. You guys are losers. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like, you want a job? Yes, please! Yes! Again, someone offered Chad a $27,000 a year radio job in Muskegee, in Shreveport, in Tampa, Kansas. Someone please reach out and say, we've got the smallest radio market in the world, no budget, and we're looking for a guy who has the talent to match. You in, Mud Shark? 21K a year. You're going to be somebody. He'd be, he'd be like, fuck Yes. A regular a regular paycheck? Who cares? Who cares if it's 380 a week? I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till he's back. I can't wait. Chad on the road. Living the life. Making him laugh. Eating lobster. Chad at home. Microwaving salmon. Sitting on the floor. <laughs> Guys, you're whatever, man. I was in four-star hotels, eating lobster, hanging out with some of the funniest people on earth. Nick Swartzen. No one will ever take this week away from me. Again, cut to him microwaving salmon and showering in a in a shower with no curtain and Sleeping in a bed. You know his sheets must be like hand-me-downs from some motel he stayed at once. I can't I, I can't picture Chad doing like normal human things. He can't he, he never went and bought sheets. Chad doesn't own a broom. He's never picked up cleaning supply. You know what I mean? Like, picture his house. What's underneath Chad's sink? What what are the odds? You think there's some 409 and a and some comet? unused sponges for when the one in the sink gets dirty no 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 chad's got nothing he said it's nothing i bet his refrigerator is just like uh splenda packets and coffee creamer you know some moldy tray of something he got from a somewhere one night just just green growth chicken something in the bottom of the a head of lettuce he picked up one year when he thought he was going to make salads, but now that's just rotting in the crisper. Think he's ever think about that? You think he's ever vacuumed his carpet? You think he owns a vacuum? You think Chad Zumach owns a vacuum cleaner? No. That's what I'm saying. Chad doesn't own tools, or I mean, just. Imagine Chad's belongings. He moved in a car, a small car, a Honda Civic. <laughs> he moved from L.A. to New York with that shitty little car, everything he owns in the back of it. 
He moved from New York to Florida with every le- thing he owns in the back of that shitty little car. You know, again, just a ring light. It's like it's like Ty Rivera level sad. A ring light, a broken office chair, a pizza pizzazz, a George Foreman grill, a.k.a. his kitchen. You know, what do you think's in it? You think he has a plunger? You think he owns dryer sheets? Dish soap. If you had to bet, do you think there's Dawn? Palm olive? Anywhere in that? Think he's ever cleaned his tub? You think he's ever opened his windows? Got some fresh air in there. No, it's hard to, it's just tough to imagine Chad Zumok doing real world, regular shit. We're going to get out of here early. I have a feeling we'll be back later. I got to go work for DK. DK, DK is like, I want it tomorrow. I want John's thing up tomorrow. Now I got to go run around making this happen for DK. Okay, okay, I will. Any last words out of anyone? Of course, our executive producer for this short shit show is Mason in Portland. And I say short. It's not that short. Eh, Three and a half hours it's going to be, you know. So it's not that short. I don't want any trouble. But I don't want to be here, and I never wanted to be here, and I didn't want to get out of bed today, and I... DK said, no, you don't. No, I do. I do. You think I, you're giving me $200, bitch. You're giving me $200, bitch. <laughs> I just start calling everything bitch. <laughs> no, fuck you, bitch. Get mad. You're giving me $200, bitch. I need $200, bitch. That's 200 hundo, bitch. You my bitch, bitch. You my bitch, bitch. Melton Monday on MLC. No, it'll probably be, uh... Bachetti again. It's not getting old at all, Kevin. Have have Stevie Lou and Bachetti on to stick it to me. Again, I I I, I these are losers. <laughs> but I, I think Stevie Lou will go on MLC and think it's getting to me, and like Kevin will have Stevie Lou on thinking it's getting to Melton again. You're you, you might be talking to the one guy who actually purely doesn't care <laughs> this is like howard stern stuff to me it's like what do you mean you don't know big black he was a legend in the i don't know him and by the way i think he respects me for that i i'm i'm letting him build his reputation on his own merit with me personally and that's the way kevin brennan is to me i don't sorry that i'm not clamoring to get on kevin brennan's show <laughs> i'm sorry that's Chad stuff. That's Stevie Lou stuff. That's Ski Mask stuff. They're still mesmerized by the glitz and glam. They still think it's a big show and they're going to get a lot of opportunities and Kevin's going to love them forever and this is steady money. Yeah, try to get an apartment with it. <laughs> no, Kevin Brennan is like this podcast boss. And he gives me anywhere from 100 to 150 a show. And, uh, yeah. Little Emmy says she also has an appointment to not be on MLC. Huh. Huh. Okay. I can't make you. Well, little Emmy never comes on this program either, you know? I'd, I'd probably pay Little Lemmy a very compelling a- hourly wait, wage to just sit in the corner on my stream and never talk. Just so that when people go, why does he have a woman on there who never talks? I can look right back at him and go, oh, you mean a woman? And then just slowly go. Can you believe I did that? Women shouldn't talk. An hourly wait. 
I should try to gain an hourly weight. I don't I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to have a show anymore. Stevie Lou's really given me a lot to think about today. Remember that one time you admitted to me there was a somebody who harassed your wife and it wasn't fun at all? No, no. You have the story way wrong. <laughs> no one did anything to her. No one did anything to her. But I like that that's what you think. I like that you, that was your big got you. Look, I didn't want to have to do this, but uh, remember when you confided in me that someone was fucking with with your wife and it was way over the line? No? <laughs> nope. I don't remember that at all. You remember that time you get everything wrong every time you call into a show? You remember that time you get, I mean, again, Stevie Lou, it's, the track record is impeccable for incorrectness. Actually, Kevin, no one can use your picture without your permission, any picture of you. Yep, yep. No, it sounds like Stevie Lou's got it all figured out. Sounds like Stevie Lou's got it all figured out. Stop copying KB, Melton. Why? Oh, because I'm doing a three and a half hour show? I'll do anything I want. Imagine Melton confiding in Stevie Lou for anything. That's the thing. It's like, it's just a miscalibration to think I say anything that I have a fear of being repeated around a meetup of fans. Again, like Flimsy Greenberg has information that none of you know about things related to this show and occurrences with individuals. Do I want it out there? Not necessarily. If Flimsy Greenberg called this show and said, you remember that thing you told me about the guy that you were going to, I'd be like, oh, this, and I just spill it all. You're not going to shoot. You're not going to hold me hostage. <laughs> I don't say things that I'm like, <laughs> everything I say, I don't necessarily need to be out there or want to be out there, but I don't spill beans that I can't have made into a delicious soup. <laughs> so if anybody wants to go get Flimsy's beans, let me know. Let me know, and we'll make soup. Melton is right. Stevie Lou uh, gives a lot of misinformation. If you don't look online to see if he's telling the truth, you believe he's right. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Flimsy, too, has a dossier. I believe that. Stevie Lou has really thrown Melton for a loop. You did it, Stevie. You broken fuck. I mean, look, it made me... Uh... <laughs> Melton fucked my wife. Oh, God. April's eight bean salad. This is going nowhere. This has been a disaster from the get-go. And I got to go find toner cartridge to make DK happy. You know. God forbid we all don't make DK happy. Okay? Because that DK can have it. Your way! Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you deploy if you listen to the show, boy Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking and they'll look one. It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. Gonna make the taco pony party be a party of soul. To make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker so bold. The family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got N. Now loaned other radio shows a straight bitch male prone. Talk shit on the youngins that nobody like past. Have my homeboy lame prank call.